that would uh that would explain it hello everyone mic check mic check i forgot to hit going live i've been talking he for like two to, minutes <laughs> he forgot to hit going live because he's a fucking papega i'm a professional streamer <laughs> i mean <sighs> professional streamer mm. <laughs> look at me <laughs> professional yeah so it's mm -hmm. okay. yup all right just in the pop all right cool and i think we're good oh lol we lost like oh lol we lost we lost like 400 people in like the two minutes that I was, I thought I was live and wasn't. That's funny. Okay. Anyway, let's go. Let's you know, go get out. Let, let's let's get out, Vader, real quick. Than, well, standing. <laughs> it's time to pull boys and girls and people of whatever genders. Real quick, I've got about forty polls here, so we'll see if we get it. Then, if not, then we'll throw a little bit more cash in there. But we'll see. Imagine not just. Taking up like three hundred dollars because you know you're gonna need to spend it. Well, I mean, I'm on my guarantee, pity. Yeah. I'm on my guarantee. Um, I, 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 I did a little risky pulling for Xinyang constellations on the last banner, so. Yeah. E ku zo. Poiple. A poiple. Oh boy. God damn it! Ooh, it's a, a flute. flute. <laughs> Ooh, a flute. The funny thing is I don't even use the passive on my flute. It's just an it's just a stat stick for my supports that don't need the extra ER. <laughs> hey, I think it's hey. C5. Alright. Ooh, a harbinger. I actually need to save my harbingers. They're actually kind of broken. Oh yeah, check in to see if Harbingers will work, work on uh There are Kaya. some characters that Harbinger works really well on because it's it like even though it has ridiculously low base attack, it it the crit stats it can give you can make it competitive on certain units. A D what the fuck? Wow, nice. Okay, I, I have C five now. <laughs> so Good I can do Diona. charge shot memes. Yeet. I like but yeah, it. I need an R five uh Harbinger uh for testing stuff with it. Xinyan. 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 But that does mean that's that confirms that Diona is on the standard banner now? True. Ikaza! Uh, purple? Black tassel for your Zhongwei. Because <laughs> I don't already have an R5. God damn it, another one. What uh, is this? My Zhongli already has an R5! Go away! Wow, it's really keeping us in suspense, huh? God and there's another Sucrose! Nice C5! Uh, I think that's C6. Or C6, yeah. Alright. I... Ku... Zo... And purple again! Getting a lot of harbingers, which is nice. Yeah, I think I've gotten rid of all mine. I did too. That's why I need to get I need to get five for uh, testing. Yeah, let me know. So many black tassels. Wow. Wow. Are you another flute? Me? Get fucked. Get fucked, little bitch. Ah! It could so. And purple again. Are you and get fucked? <laughs> Am I, is this my Ning curse? Is this child and banner all over again? Am I gonna get, get a C11 Ning? Or C11 Sucrose? And get fucked. Ah! 
Ah, oh, fuck it. Okay, what's my Hi, name? I'm Jinjinx, and I'm a sucrose main now. And I'm a sucrose auto attacks full main now. Kill me. Be right back and you grab my wallet. Kick. Mark. Hi, chat. How you doing? My name's Tuner. And I decided I wasn't going to stream today on Twitch because I figure you guys probably just wanted to listen to Jinx anyways, so. Remember, I'll be streaming on Twitch tomorrow for my polls and Albedo testing with a Noel comp. If uh, you haven't already followed on Twitch, consider doing so. If you need the link for that, I'm going to go ahead and toss it in chat. If you'd like, I do appreciate the follows, guys. We actually um, gained about 5,000 followers. Probably actually more than that. No, no, no. Probably close to eight or 9,000 followers on Twitch since we started doing this, which is uh, great. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying the content recently. I hope... Uh, I hope you guys don't mind the podcast things. We figured it'd be a nice idea because, like, most people, when they're doing their dailies and stuff, um, you know, usually you're doing that for a couple hours. So we're like, oh, well, you know, it'd be really nice just to throw in a little podcast for stuff. Uh, Edu, thank you for the 420. Appreciate you. Obviously, we're not going to just only do podcasts. Like, we're not only going to do podcasts. Like, we will do, you know, um, regular content. But, um, I don't know, we just figured it'd be a nice, like, non-edit heavy, you know, just something to, like, relax Jinx. We're, like, we're thinking, like, okay, he's still doing content, right? But, like, it's less edit heavy, so it's better for his mental, you know? Um, as far as, like, because some people were actually asking us, they were asking if we could put him on, like, Spotify or something. I'm looking into it. I literally have no idea how to do Spotify podcast or, like, how to do it. So, um, <laughs> yeah, we're only streaming in YouTube right now. Like I said, I figured that you guys probably want to hear Jinx's impressions, uh, as soon as you can. Then, uh, I figure maybe we'll, um, we'll be streaming on Twitch tomorrow because Jinx isn't going to okay. stream two days ago. So we'll stream tomorrow on Twitch, and Jinx will join me, and we'll kind of check uh, check out stuff on there. Ba -da -ba. All right, let's get some more primos, I guess. Mail. Hey. Hey. Excuse me. Hmm. Somebody's saying that Albedo's energy regen is about one particle every two seconds for thirty seconds. Uh, if that's actually consistent and true, then that's good. That's, that's like, t one per two seconds is pretty much top tier. There's only a tiny handful of things that can ever get close to pa past that. That's like Venti's E level. Geo MC's E level. Actually, is MC, is Geo MC two or three? It's three every six seconds. Yeah, so it's one every two then, yeah. Yeah. So right. if that's consistent, then that means that uh, he'll be a perfect battery. Yeah, but we for do need Noel. to test to see if it's consistent because they did make Zhong Li's RNG. So yeah, no, if, if it's consistent. Yeah. At the very minimum. All right. Yikuza! <laughs> oh, it's gonna be another Sucrose. Oh my God. And we get a. I got an off Chong. banner Chong. What the? Fuck? Nice. I like it. Off banner Chong Yun. Pretty good. Pretty good. Gonna go to that Kaya carry. <laughs> Gonna go to that what Kaya What the fuck carry. is this shit? Yeah, yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. I like it. 10 out of 10, my boy. We're on two off banner flutes and an off banner Diona and an off banner fucking Chong. And then three Sucroses, so get fucked. <laughs> I. Uh, Look, you're saving all your luck for me. You're saving all your luck for me. BRB putting in credit card details. Wait, again? I didn't put them in yet. I, that was I, I got enough for another temple from the uh, primos from the mail. Oh. So, okay. Yeah, I haven't put in my credit card yet. I'm just going to let you know if I manage to do like another double clee kind of thing. Yeah. 
Uh, Jinx, you are abs absolutely showing me your card. So I'm showing <laughs> you the card, but not stream. But okay, I just make, okay. Yeah, I got I, a little I, scared. I, I double checked. I, I'm not. Sure. I got a little scared. I got I, a little scared. I trust you with my card info, especially because the credit limit on this isn't very high. Okay, anyway, I got, so, like, I got scared. I got scared. Okay. <laughs> You got Benito. Congratulations Congrats. on your five-star Benito. You got the best character on the banner, probably. I don't know. We haven't tested Albedo yet. He's probably pretty good, though. I'm hoping that he hasn't changed too much from what's last been heard about him, because <laughs> he was looking. Change. He was looking good. So. <laughs> I honestly love the trust there. No, I mean. He can trust me. I'm still gonna like. I still like stop watching the stream just out of respect. But <laughs> yay! Of course, it got declined because my fucking credit card company doesn't trust Mahoyo. This I mean, happens like every other time I use it. I mean, do you trust Mahoyo? <laughs> I mean, I guess. If you were a credit card company, would you trust me, Hoyo? Uh, yeah. Oh, by the sure. way, Jinx, speaking, I'm, I see that you're on the Be Right Back screen that, that there's a vape. Did you hear that it is now illegal to mail vape products? Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, sellers can no longer mail you vape products because uh, it's, it's now illegal. Huh. Yeah. Neat. That, uh, that got signed in by the Senate. Okay. Well, my credit card is being a bitch, so... Oh, Eru, thank you for the 420. All right, guys, it's that time of the patch again where we all sit and wait as Jinx frame counts to tell us how bad the five-star is to Bennett Kekka W. I mean, th there are very few units in this game more valuable than the Bennett, so... <laughs> well, we're really hoping It's not really that... a good standard. We're really hoping that, um... See, see, the thing is, if he does end up having good values, like, energy genocide, if he ends up having decent values, he will be a good, like, general burst support pick. Um, which is actually could make him a pretty, pretty valuable unit for a lot of people, assuming you already have carries, and you don't necessarily need, like, you know, you already got, like, a Klee, a Razor, a Diluc, a, uh, Kaching. Uh, you'd like Zhongling with Crescent Pike, you're using Bennett carry, whatever. Like, if you already have a solid carry, getting solid burst support units that can just be good in any team isn't bad. But, you know, that, we still need the test. I'm just, I'm, I am more hopeful for him than Zhongli because his power budget is, like, all in burst support. So, yeah, uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that means he's well balanced for that. By the way, guys, uh, as mentioned in earlier, now we got a new group of people in here. Um, if you guys would like to, we're going to be streaming on Twitch tomorrow. I will be streaming on Twitch tomorrow, and Jinx will be joining me, and we'll be testing Albedo for Noel comps. So if you would like to throw a follow there, I would really appreciate it. Hmm. We're actually about to pass 26,000 followers. Why are both Maybe? of my banks declining? There's uh, three do you grand have... in this account. <laughs> Steven, thank you for the follow, man. Um, Jinx, do you have, like, your... Does your banks, like, send you a text message? Maybe I'm waiting, because can... they normally do. Like, every time this has happened before, when they decline Mahoyo payments, they send me a text message being like, Hey, is this sus or nah? But they haven't sent me one yet. El Benito de Fuego, niño. Hmm... <laughs> uh... Yeah, we had. Wait, wouldn't it be? El, I'm even, uh, I'm even checking it, my bank be... app, and there's they haven't sent me a message about the decline yet. Wouldn't it? Wait, wouldn't it be Four El Benito protection. de Fuego? Wait, no, de Nino. En Fuego. That was weird. El Benito de uh, Nino en Fuego. Let me try. Who speaks? Who speaks Spanish? How would you say? Websites. How would you say Benito is the hot boy? <laughs> Benito El Nino de Fuego. Uh, Genshin Impact Crystal Top Off. All top up, rather. Okay, let's try this then. 
Uh, I had a feeling I should have dropped a hundred in this before hopping on stream. Benito, but I Benito was is hopeful. In... I wouldn't need to. Uh, See, so yeah, I'm getting a lot of different people. It's like uh, Benito is in uh, Benito es Niño Fuego. El Benito es el Niño de Fuego. Benito es el chico guapo. <laughs> <laughs> Benito es bueno. Benito es bonita. <laughs> He's a pretty boy. Oh, Come here, pretty boy. Okay, now they sent me messages. Despacito. It just took them like four minutes to send me the text message. Reply, yes. Just got Gene from Free Fates? Ooh, congratulations. Congrats, Gene is actually... Huge. People sleep People sleep on Gene. People I sleep mean, on Gene. I mean, a big part of what makes Gene so powerful, like, aside from the Venti Gene comp, is the fact that we only have five healers, and she's... If Bennett didn't exist, she'd be considered best healer. Slot character. Mm. But, like, Bennett exists, so she's, like, right below him. Like, and then the in the best, you need two healers, so, like, Gene's gonna be your other one, ideally. Benito Dice. Like, uh, book in the book in. <laughs> Benito Dice. <laughs> okay. Now my bank knows again that this Mahoyo isn't trying to steal my money. At least not consent. At least non non consensually. <laughs> non non consensually. Yeah. Uh... At least consensually they're stealing my money. <laughs> Benito uh, Boken the Benito. Benito. <laughs> Hello from the Philippines. Hey Mac. I wouldn't mind sleeping on Gene. <laughs> I drink up. <laughs> okay, sorry for the wait, guys. My bank was being kind of stupid. Eh. Okay. Eh. I can now watch your stream. Yeet. All right. Let's go. Uh, remember that you need to convert your. Yep. Okay. I, I was just thinking, wait, is this something I want? I was thinking if I could buy a welcome pass too with this, but nah, it's fine. I think I'm still over the cap for welcome moons, so. Lol. Ikaza! All right. And a purple. I'm okay, at 60, thanks. so if I don't get it in this next one, I'm approaching pity. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, hey. see you too, Bennett. I'm actually still not El sure. El Nino, oh, El Nino de Fuego. Refinement. Nice. Nice. That's what. That's currently what I use for my Ning anyway, because I don't have an eye of perception. Gets a gets an eye of perception. <laughs> book in the book in. Barito de Barito. Barito. Teamwork makes the dream work. Do you want to ride a forklift? It doesn't have to be a forklift. <laughs> God oh, damn man. it, that's a C9 fish. <laughs> hey. I think that sorry, I think the audio cut for a second because my headphones got unplugged. Well. I so, said more like a 69 fischl. Ay. Ay. More like a chuny 9 fischl. Is that five harbingers yet? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's definitely yeah. now. It definitely is now. Yeah, with two there. Because yeah. I only remember seeing right, two. Now earlier, we get attention. Albedo. Uh, we're at 70 pity, so if I don't get it on this temple, I'm actually hitting pity. <laughs> no, 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 instead of... Do you want to ride a forklift? No, 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 Benny the Explorer. Instead of Dora the Explorer, it's Benny the Explorer. Hey, there we go. Hey, another one. And a Bennett! Yeet! Honestly, though, I don't know if I'm going to activate my other Bennett cons yet. Um, I it's one of those things where I like keeping Bennett at C one because it po it proves how powerful he is without needing more than C one, you know. True. Like, uh, honestly, so, that's okay, a really okay, good okay. point if I for get, you. Yeah, if I get C five, I'll consider it. But for now, I'm just gonna leave him at C one because, like, I it, I like the fact that it proves how potent a character he is in whenever I use him in Abyss and things like that with him only being C one. So, hey, do you want to ride a forklift? 
I'm not really excited because we knew you were going to get it. And what? you almost Fu got it close to pity. So it's Fuck like off! It wasn't pity. That's what matters. I. It was basically pity. It wasn't. I was 10 away from pity. And I, mean, I got a fav lads. Fuck you, it's, tuner. It's basically pity. Fuck you. I got a fav lad. What is with my off banner poles on El this banner? El Nino Ascensor. Not bad, though. Not bad. I I already have an R5 Favland, so now I think I have an R3 as well, but whatever. Neat. All right. <sighs> it is gone. Damn. What's all these questions? Why? Those are all your free primos. Oh, do I have? Oh, my God. I have to claim these individually? Yep. You have to claim each one individually. Ha Wait, like this? Yep. Who designed this? Nope, what sadistic get fuck you, you designed can, you this? Can, you can, I can say you can't click them. What sadistic fuck design? You missed, design you missed this one thing. on child. You missed one on child. What? No, I didn't. You missed one on child. Oh, oh, no, no that's, that's, my his, cons, yeah. oh, yeah, okay, that's, that's my cons. Yeah. That's my cons. Yeah. That's my unactivated C one. <laughs> How does it feel that I spooked you with a child? Huh? Lol. I gave I gave you a child that you didn't want. <laughs> <laughs> Who, what, what? I have to get, I have 46 of these. Yep, I know. Get I fucked. have to do 46 of these. Yeah, get fucked. Wee! Alexa, that's so sad. Wee! Play Despacito. <laughs> Despacito. There is some motherfucker who works in Mahoyo who made the call that this was how this was going to ship. And he is sitting at home right now, sipping a beer and fapping furiously to the tears of everyone who has to collect his fucking face. We're so sorry. We're so sorry. I, I just oh, think about that fucking so South Park. so sorry. I keep thinking about that South Park episode where they go to like the cable company and they just have like the patched, they have the patches over their yeah. nipples, they just flip over and yeah. start just circling yeah. the nipples, being like, oh, that's so, that I was, that's so awful. Man, maybe I you guess go you'll do, just have to go, go to, to a, another yeah, like service, service provider. provider. Oh wait, Ooh, we're the oh, only wait. one. <laughs> Play Bakamitai. Bakamitai. No, DMC doesn't matter because this isn't Twitch. You can DMC all the all the fuck to the bank. <laughs> Say what? And, and Twitch is like banning people now for DMCA shit. Really? Uh, that doesn't count on YouTube. Nobody gives a fuck on YouTube. <laughs> you can you can run around with your shirt off on YouTube. Nobody gives a fuck. Yeah. The only thing they care about is when like is when there's like nudity that is focused on. Uh -huh. Like you're allowed to have like nudity in like a video game or something on a YouTube on like a YouTube stream. But if you like go like, damn, look at those bazongas and like zoom in on the t on like the naked titties, then yeah, they're gonna fucking flag you. But Alright, motherfucker, let's go. You Get me that Alfredo sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Rise up, forklift, rise up. Ascend to the heavens. <laughs> I'll run out of forklift puns eventually. Uh, I don't know, man. I think you need to take your puns to the next level. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying I have to reach new heights? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Every last one of you are animals. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think that punch was really reaching. Damn. One quick seconds. Uh, okay. I was just double checking to make sure there was nothing on that page that I had to worry about. Yeah, chat's got a point, Jinx. We really are above this. We are. 
Bam. <laughs> Uh, it's funny because he has a forklift. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, I, well I mean, him. Jinx, people do come to our stream for some higher learning. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Transient Blossoms deal twenty five percent more damage to enemies who are over who are whose HP is below. So. He gets an execute passive. That's actually pretty neat. 25% is not a bad additional multiplier either. Uh, Trite of Progenitor. His ult increases EM by 125. So that did make it to live. Uh, if I recall correctly, Sucrose needs 378, is it? 370 something EM to equal this between her E and her Q on her A1, A2 and 4. So this is actually really good. Uh, that's why... I, that I'm going to be running him on a uh, reverse vape Zhang Ling team to see how effective that is. Okay. Here's wow. Wow. That's a... That, 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 that amount of EM? That's, that's a really high amount of EM. Really is. You know, Tuna, you can go fork yourself. It would really lift my spirits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's level this shit up. You know what, Jinx? I've I honestly I've had it up to here with you. the cringe <laughs> now see jinx they think we're high <laughs> <laughs> all right not gonna touch his uh jesus fucking christ those are not good level ones yeah his his orders are not gonna be good but for the sake of okay so for the sake of like I'll just switch out Ning. Some in the field research. There's something about his profile, <clears throat> like his icon picture, I don't like. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, I agree. Like, his face is like Jinx. I agree. He's highly suspect. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks like he got a face lift. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the rest of the stream, guys. It's not gonna end. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it's just because you got high standards. <laughs> God damn it, I unplugged my headphones again. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, uh, I can't do stream markers, uh, but this is at fucking... God, what is the timestamp on this? I must know. 3553. Just put down 30 minutes and like DM no, it to me in Discord because I don't. Would you say that he's a top tier cutie? <laughs> no time to lose. Okay, so for the sake of. Thoroughness. <clears throat> I'm just gonna frame count his basic hit, his basic combo with jump, jump with jump cancel real quick, just to make sure they didn't like massively overtomb his basics. And then we'll do like actual burst support testing because it's clear he's supposed to be one. But for the sake of thoroughness, we are going to do this. Yeah, amateur mistake. No time Recording has started. <laughs> Pain, Becco. <laughs> Oh, too early. It's fine. That is enough. Huh. Yeah, this is a really slow charge comp. Oh, wait, that was fat. No, it's, got a, it's just got a weird buffer window. Okay. 
Well, I got two good ones in there, so that's enough to count that. Okay. Oh, nine. Again, guys, the, the, it's the same thing with like the with Jinyan and Zhongli. Like, I'm gonna have, I'm going to count every character's frame counts just to be sure they didn't like, ma like they like what they did with Zhongli, where they they <clears throat> tuned it to be way too good with Crescent Pike. So, like, I I just for the sake of uh for the sake of being thorough, I need to check every new character's like basic string just to make sure they didn't overtune it like they did with Zhongli. Um, we just started a G. Duplicate. We just started. You missed the uh, fucking like four sucrose poles, but you didn't really miss much, honestly. Okay. Cool. Yeah, and before people see this, they go, "Why do you want Albedo to be a? Why do you want Albedo to be a DPS? Shit. Why do you want him to be a DPS? <laughs> Y'all are just upset because you expected him to be a DPS. To be fair, in the Zhongli stream, I was not very good about... I, I was not clear when I was doing the calcs of... Guys, if a, if a character has good combo strings, I have to frame count it because we don't know the power otherwise. It takes me literally five minutes to calculate the character's like DPS value. And before Tekno and Elbow, from Tapedo is broken, game changer. And before yeah. M-Tash, this changes everything. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, I do want, I want to go on record and saying right now, um, we really do appreciate yeah, uh, M-Tash. Yeah, I was about to say. He, yeah. he gave us like the world's biggest fucking shout out. Like for real, like he sat on a video he didn't just do like a oh by the way guys jinx and tuna are really cool anyways uh, moving on he like he literally sat on our channel page for like a minute saying like he's watched us since monster oh, hunter like he watches way. us now <laughs> we're good solid data and he appreciates like big oh, shout that's out really sweet of him. him yeah much appreciated uh, for him. gone hyun thank you for the two appreciate you Okay, let's see here. Let's close Photoshop because holy fuck, between OBS, Photoshop, and Genshin, my computer must be dying. Uh, I do want to say, uh, guys, I'm not streaming tonight because I figured, honestly, you guys were just going to want to watch Jinx's stuff, um, which I appreciate. You know, he, he's he's definitely the wealth of knowledge. Um, so I, But we will be streaming tomorrow on the Twitch. I'm going to be streaming... Uh, on Twitch and Jinx will be joining me. Yeah, if I'll you be on haven't BC already followed doing more testing off stream at that point most likely. If you haven't already followed, I'm dropping that link into the chat. Uh, if you want to throw me a follow, I'd really appreciate it. Ah, We're shit, we don't have to the twenty six thousand value. We really appreciate you guys. Um... So thank you. Remember that supporting Twitch is the same thing as supporting uh, the YouTube. We share our revenue. So if you happen to have like an Amazon Those Prime that you haven't used this month, um, I'd love to hold on to it for you. <laughs> Alfredo's motion values for his T6 basic string and charges. Double checking to make sure <laughs> Any they primers didn't <laughs> overtune his basics. And Tash is clickbaity as fuck. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is, though, man. I'm like, you know, you want to try to make videos that are clickable. Yeah. Um, and, like, and, the, and and the reality because... is the fact that he's continuing to have a career means that there are people who continue to enjoy that kind of content. Oh, Robo, there really isn't necessarily anything prime, wrong man. with clickbaity content Hold as on. long as it's not misleading. Hold on. Uh, Ropo95, man, if you're in here, thank you very much for that prime sub. I appreciate Alfredo. that very much. Thank you. Basic combo. What time am I streaming? I stream every day at noon PST. Um, but we may very Cancel. well like cut the intro of that like into something to just have on the channel for Noel testing. So. Yeah. Alfredo jump console. Alfredo. Ooh, grats on your kaching. All right, let's take a look at this. Uh... Okay. Well. Let's just do a let's just do a T six one first. Anyway, first off, what the most important thing is with your frame counts, so let's do that. Hey, Oscar, we don't use that website, man. I'm sorry, we don't use yeah. that website. Uh, Paradox. Thank you for the <laughs> prime. If you're in here, man, Paradox. Thank oh, you thank very you, much. Thank you, sir. So you can, so can. Um, I can tune in live. Yeah. Pog, love you guys. Thank you so much for the four twenty. Appreciate the four twenty, man. And Young Hyun, I know Tuna got you earlier, but thank you for the two dollars, and you got a Skyward Spine. Grats. Got C1 Gene. 
on both standard and event bender? Dude, uh, C1 Gene, though, is one step closer to C2 Gene. <laughs> Not wrong. Uh, uh, does Albedo change the fuck, Mary kill tier list? Oh, man, I'd marry. I'd marry. I'd marry Albedo. I don't know. He's, he he's really... screams ace to me, dude. He screams ace. He, he definitely ace. screams ace. He also, I also feel like he would never have time for you. I'm okay with that. He's so that's true. Actually, you like being alone, so maybe I, that I, works I, out I'm, well. Dude, I, I am okay with that. He can yeah. stay in the other room. Paints doing his me shit. like paints me like one of your fr like one of your assistant mages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we can just exist in the same house. He not trying to do anything freaky. I'm I'm down with that. I mean, he's gonna do stuff freaky. He's just not gonna he's just not gonna try to have sex with you. <laughs> yeah. I'm a pre I'm a pre He's gonna that. do a lot of freaky shit. He's gonna bring a bunch of paintings to life and shit. But yeah, dude, nah, dude, you have no idea. I I I I appreciate artists so much. Uh... All right, let's see here. So first one. That's the first frame for that one. First one won't be a good count though, because it's not a loop. Bop 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. Key frame <laughs> is the jump, is the jump, which is when uh, portrait's gray. So that's first key frame. Doki Chelsea, thank you for that prime. Appreciate it. And you guys actually started bop, a hype train. Bop, so bop, thanks for bop, starting a hype train bop. when I wasn't there. <laughs> Lol. But Chelsea, thank you very much. Bop, I okay, you. that's key frame. Gray Two out yes. for jump cancel. I'm ace and Jinx is pan. So if you yeah. ever wondered why we have the uh, LGBT tag on tw on uh, Twitch, that's why. I am just is C2 in Gene general good or something? queer. Uh, C2 Gene gives you 15% attack speed. Oh, that one was too fast. So I can't when use you that. gain energy and that's transferable, it's really nice. And okay, actually... Well, I only got two strings. <laughs> well, holy fuck, that's a big difference in strings. What the fuck? Carry Gene is like the perfect support in multiplayer. <laughs> it's true. What the fuck? That's a big input difference. I must have buffered the first hit really slowly. Yeah, this one was just a really clean... Cancel, is this banner worth getting for just the four stars? I want to stress that this is the best four star banner we've ever Let had. Risky trousers. Yeah, just the fact that Bennett's on it alone would be enough. An but... skill focus build. Yeah, we'll be we'll be doing a lot of tests on Albedo. Uh, actually, this is not a good. This is not a good shit. This is not a good uh keyframe because it's actually variable. So I think I have to go with a different one. Let's go with leg straightening. So that one. Use this as the keyframe instead. That's not a good keyframe, unfortunately, because it's actually varying a bit. Uh, I mean, if you need me to, I, I'll obviously be able to give you some pretty good numbers for. Uh, oh yeah, it, th th this is at the end of the day. This is just to kind of get a ballpark because it's gonna. It's the highest potential will be faster than what I'm achieving with just this very basic test. This is just to get a ballpark of like, is he in the hundred range, the one thirty range, the seventy range for like per second? You know. It's a it's a ballpark thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, like straight Solar in there. Solar Pearl or Widsith Klee? Ooh, Widsith Klee actually gets. Yeah, Widsith's <laughs> really good, but Widsith is oh. Widsith is better with a vape comp, is the thing, because the yeah, EM's with, with a vape comp specifically. But if you can pull that fucking EM Widsith, and fatty even then, <laughs> even that, like, so Cleeful that should be in our info dump on the Discord server. Cleeful does have a spreadsheet on Klee calcs for all the weapons and build and like top build variations. Hey Kevin, uh, you missed Jinx's pain of pulling. Yeah, okay. Three yeah, off banner the, flutes. Apparently, graying is not a keyframe. Okay. Three off two, banner. No, uh, three. Uh, he's at two eleven. Yeah, no, it's not gonna be good. If he's at two eleven, that's not gonna be good. Um, he pulled like six off banner things and then three sucroses in a row. So big six. pain, Peko. <laughs> Oh, perfect. Someone sent it to me. Beautiful. There's my Hugu emote. Thank you. Thank you to Chris Kyle over at the Albedo, at the Avatar Albedo, Albedo mains Discord server for getting me those values. Appreciate it. Tuner watches Pecora. No, actually, I don't watch any VTubers at all. I don't either. But, but... I do have a VTuber channel in the sub Discord. 
that people post shit on and like i'm aware of pain peco yeah same like i have only doper, ever doper or somebody spans spams that fucking emote yup 100 percent uh yeah i actually have never i actually have seen vtubers like maybe for a total of 20 minutes uh but like fucking all the shitters i hang out with in vc will say pain peco and i just i pick up these kinds of things from people even if i yeah. don't have the like original context for it my brain's just like, my friends say this funny thing, and it's funny to me, so I say it too now. Yeah. I, I actually don't... Yeah, I don't watch VTubers on purpose. I, uh... I don't know. The the whole concept kind of puts me off, actually. Oh, yeah? yeah. I don't mind it. I just... I'm, I don't... I just haven't really gone around to ever really being... Yeah, 96. Even if this goes higher... Even, th even though this can probably go a bit higher, so we're looking at maybe 100, 105 range, that's really low. Yeah, it's not, he, so yeah, confirmed he's just, he's not gonna be a good physical carry or anything, thank god. So yeah, um, and then let's just get a rough estimate on this charge spam. No, I mean, I don't, I don't watch, like, I go out of my way to make sure I'm not watching VTubers, I just, I don't appreciate the concept, honestly. As a, as an, as a streamer, like an in-person person who shows up every day and puts his face okay. on the internet, I don't know, it, it feels weird. We have a Nene <laughs> as the keyframe. And... Jesus Christ, I am inputting this so late. Ah! Okay, I can't use that as a keyframe, obviously, because I'm inputting too late. Okay, let's see. Blade. <laughs> I should become a VTuber. How about... Can we use as a keyframe here? Which of these is a clear keyframe? Probably this one. It's a really sharp angle. Okay, so blade at that angle is keyframe then. But, 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 this one's obviously really slow, so it's not gonna be a good count, but blade at that angle. Here, tell you what, tell you what, if you guys wanna, if you guys wanna fund together the $2,000 I'm gonna need to make a VTuber model. <laughs> I have said this before. If someone gets me like all the stuff I need to be a talking switch axe on stream, I will be a talking switch axe VTuber until I stop until I stop streaming. I will be a talking switch axe VTuber. I'm just not paying for it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use the As long as it's child? No, nah, dude, I was actually thinking Albedo. <laughs> Fuck, I can't use the Nene. God damn it. It's hard to find a keyframe for this combo. He doesn't have anything super clear. Okay. Yeah, and it's such a... S okay, we'll go with this. Keyframe is the uh, particle effect on the swipe. That's that's at least going to be more consistent than any of these other keyframes. I'm I'm still trying to convince um I'm still trying to convince Genshin Impact to sponsor me to do a, a Noel a Noel Itasha on my eight six. Okay. Okay, so yeah, the variance here is massive, but charge spams or was until you get used to the input. 69! Nice. First impression is, uh, of Alvedo is a battery for Noel. Uh, supposedly it's we haven't one even energy every two seconds, yet. but <laughs> we're going to need to yeah. test. We literally haven't done anything yet. <laughs> Let me start my oh, fuck it, Natasha. Yeah, no, dude, I would totally do a Natasha. <laughs> 69 value is uh equal to let's see charge racing noel one. yeah racing noel oh shit uh was that a 20 dollar donation oh was it? oh thank you yes 20 dollar donation kevin, from kevin for v2 <laughs> oh shit okay james forward that one to me that one's mine uh, i <laughs> uh trarmy thank you for the prime on twitch we really appreciate you Thank you very much, man. Charge one, charge two. Yeah, charge one, charge two. So we have 68.8 and 87.5. It's equal to... Who would you guys some... prefer to, uh, to go with Klee, Sucrose, or Jean? Sucrose probably has more synergy than Jean. Jean is a healer, unless... though. Yeah. Like, well, if you don't say... already have a healer, like a Bennett. Yeah, I was gonna say that probably the better would be to like run Klee, Sucrose, and Bennett if you yep. can, and then like a Xing Chou. But if you don't have Bennett, oh, 
Charge spam's not bad, actually. Doesn't make him, like, a good carry, but it's not bad. That's actually pretty decent for a charge spam. 209's higher than Kaya. Huh? 209's higher than Kaya. Oh, uh, no, it's not. Wasn't remember, Kaya they, one, they, get an attack, they get an attack one in there as well, remember, for charge spam. Um, it's the charge. It's the two charge hits plus attack one. Okay. Yeah. So it's lower than Kaya's, but it's a bit faster. It's a bit faster, but I also am not hitting max input speed on Kaya. In fact, I think... Who was it? Someone sent me some other Kaya numbers. It was MCT, yeah. Hey, Feb, Feb. Yeah, Kaya sent me some... Uh, yeah, MCT sent me some uh, better frame counts. Near optimal frames, 80. So I was two frames off on my fastest. Um... Okay, yeah, so the charge spam is not bad, actually. So if you are going to be using Alfredo's basic attacks for any reason, do charge spam. Uh, that being said, 182 is impressive for it, is a pre pretty decent for a charge spam. It's not going to make him a good carry or anything, though. Because he's still going to be split damage type at the end of the day. Although it is only a 20 stamina cost, so it does make it pretty loopable, which is nice. Because, you know, yeah. you can do, like, charge spam, charge spam, charge spam, charge spam, and then switch to other characters and use their shit. The issue is, is he's actively going to ruin a freeze comp. Yeah, because it's a geotype. So you couldn't really yeah. use him as, like, a cryo carry option because his uh, E is going to actively shatter things. Probably. We'll test it, but that's how it should work. That's how yeah. the interaction should go with, geo with a geo instance plus freeze units. And then it's going to be really difficult to run the two cryo. And yeah, then double, also you're, you're, you're going to give up Venera or double. Are you going to give up Venera or double cryo? You have yeah. to give up one of them. Yeah. And then you're also kind of forced to run Barbara or Jingcho as solo healer, which is rough. I guess you could run Diona, yeah. Diona Chong. Eh, still not very good though. Yeah, I, I would not recommend him in cryo teams. That's probably the one place he doesn't... He would not be a good just throw me in as a burst damage unit sort of thing. Right, which means that charge spam is ultimately going to be pretty bad. He, unless unless it's, it's a big target, yeah. Big boy. Yeah, because unfortunately charge spams on longsword characters only really work well against big boys or work well against frozen targets, but he just... He what actively was his cannot A2? work in that. What was his A2 talent? Oh. Can you look it up for me? A2? Oh, it's the 25% damage on his uh, E f against for execute. Oh, neat. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, okay, so let's just give him... For now, we'll just do Petra set, and then we'll test some other stuff afterwards. But we'll just give him my Petra set for now. Yeah, give him Ning set. Well, Ning actually runs a two-piece Glad, two-piece Petra, personally, because oh. I'm too lazy to Petra. <laughs> I just rather have her do big number, but... Okay, this puts us at 111 ER, ER, so that's close enough to base to get a good, uh, un to get a good, a decent understanding of his uh, natural energy gen in combat. I was gonna say, that's zero energy regen. <laughs> Is his ascension at ER? Wait, what's his ascension? What's his ascension stat? Why the fuck do I check that? Uh, you can't until you ascend him. God damn it. Alright, whatever. <laughs> I'm pretty it's sure- percent apparently. I was gonna say, it's pretty sure it'd be Geo percent, right? That sounds like what it should be for him. Well, I mean, you know, what should have been the percentage for fucking Zhang Li should have been HP, but... Fair. 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 Okay. Oh, what? They changed this to not include the base 50% now? Uh, it's because you're looking on the artifact page. I'm bro. an idiot. Thank you. Okay. I'm an idiot. Thank you. Uh, God, this set. How, why does? Why am I? Why do I have so much EM substance also, on this fucking set? Also, you're not showing set? your screen any, with me anymore, by the way. If you want to redo that at some point. Am I not? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Weird. Don't know how that happened. Yeah, it just happens with Genshin. Yeah. Okay, and for weapon, I don't want to bias this with ER yet, so let's just throw on a fucking flute. Okay. <laughs> you got plenty of them! Yeah. Okay. So, first off, let's just look, take a look at his energy gen on his E. So, pop! Didn't make a particle. Made one particle. Didn't make a particle, that was an HP particle. Nope, no well, particle. Stop hitting him, just let it go. <laughs> 
Your Pepega? What do you mean? You have to hit him to trigger it. It's an echo turret. Oh, it's an echo. Yeah. It's a. It's well, a... then put like a level one sword on him or something. Yeah. After I killed this guy, <laughs> he looked at me funny. Bop. That's an HP particle. Seems to be every other trigger. What's the cooldown? What's the ICD on it though? Wait, you can just keep replacing this? Uh huh. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, go put a level one sword on it. Yeah, he's shit killing shit the... too fast. Um. <laughs> Do you want to ride a forklift? Forklift. It doesn't have to be a forklift. forklift. It could be a flower that is made from alchemy. Is there a reason to ride that thing up? Platforming. Coming to besides me. giving you a fucking plunge attack. attack! Plunge attack! Yeah, that is. <laughs> plunge attack! It's like, it's, this is like the same, this is like about the speed you get out of like doing a clutch claw aerial spam in Monster Hunter. <laughs> yeah. And then you can also aim it, which is pretty neat. I'm Cut just gonna put it up me. there. Oh, Turret okay, it just goes straight down. Hmm, let's see real quick. Okay, well, I actually didn't read his stuff yet. Okay, so, following properties. So... Transient Blossoms, deal damage based off defense. Every two seconds is the limit. When the character is located in the Locus, the Solar Isotum will accumulate Geo Power to form a crystallized platform. Basically, you can stand on it. Uh, and it's considered a Geo Construct. Okay, so that it's two second cooldown. It's a four second cooldown. So, like, you can place, you can pretty much keep, you can keep this up infinitely easily. Like, it, it's obviously designed to just always be on the field. Mm -hmm. So I would not be surprised if it can only do a, uh, if you can only get energy every other with it, because that's really high. Like, that's that's a lot. Well, it's what they said. It's one every energy every two seconds. No, I'm every, uh, I'm saying every other transient blossom, you can get it. Yeah, but if it's, no, I guess it's So not. that's one every four seconds. One every four seconds, yeah. then? Yeah. Uh, because if it's, if it has permanent uptime, I would be amazed if they also gave it, like, Top tier energy gen. But let's go do it on the rune god because it's an easier way to test compared to these guys who move around too much. One, en one energy every four seconds, not really yep. that good. That's incredibly low. That's like bottom tier. Yeah. That's bottom tier next to characters who don't make energy. That that's pretty much the lowest any character's energy gen is allowed to go is one per four. Yeah. Just tested. I'm getting one every flower. Somebody says I get one every flower. One flower. One flower. One. Fl yeah. So far, it's been one every flower. Yeah, it's one every flower. So he's a one. This makes him actually a really good bat unit because this thing is able to be up infinitely, and it's generating. No, wait. That one didn't generate one. That one didn't generate one either. Please don't have gotcha energy, Jen. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, I keep missing. Oh wait, no, he just can't be stunned yet. Okay. Please don't be gotcha energy gen. That one didn't generate one. That one generated one. That one generated one. That one didn't. That one did. That one didn't. That one didn't. That one didn't. That one did. That one did. Uh, that's fun. Yep. Coming to be. That one didn't. That one did. Yep, it's fucking gotcha energy gen again. Are you fucking kidding me? Let's take a look at his constellation. Is C1 makes it constant? God, f are you fucking kidding me? Well, that's 1.2 for Albedo. Yeah, it's for Albedo, so it's not even shared. And 1.2, by the way, energy is 
it, it you get three energy per on type particle when on field. So for Albedo, uh, if he's on field, off field, this is about this is about half, a little less. This is a uh, you get he gets a uh, two off field. So like for particle, so this is a little bit above half of what an energy particle should be getting him, uh, compared to you know getting a particle every two seconds instead. Um, Transient Blossom, Grand Fatal Reckoning. Each side of Fatal Reckoning increases damage by 30% of Abedis defense. Stacks with the four times. Unleashing your ult deals damage. So it gives you a stacking up defense, scaling on your ult. Gotcha. Um, King of Defense, something, something. King of Defense, something, something, something. <laughs> increases plunging attack damage by Oh, God. Are you absolutely <laughs> fucking high? <laughs> That is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. If active party members within the AoE are protected by the by a shield created by Crystallize, Sola Isotome increases their damage by 17%. That is trash. 70% uh, isn't bad, considering it basically... I know, but off, for a C6? True. That is, that's like a C1 level thing. I think fucking Ning's C2 does better than that. Mm, technically, yeah, but... I mean, 70% total is actually, like, pretty good, even for a 5-stock constellation for a single cons. Most constellations are below, like, 10% increases if they're, act if they're, like, straight increases. Okay, let's try this instead. Didn't get anything. Oh, got one there. 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 It definitely seems to be over a 1 to 2 ratio, but it is random. Yeah, that one didn't get one. Yeah. That one didn't get one. It seems to definitely be over a 1 to 2 ratio, but it like it's not every like other. Like 66% or Maybe something? Maybe like 66, 70, something around that. Cause I mean, obviously, we've only done like maybe fucking 25 tests, so that's not a good sample size. So it's entirely possible I'm just getting lucky. Yeah. So that's shit without the E up, so you have to have E up, obviously. Oh, shit, I'm going to kill this guy. Let's back up. Why? The, it's not an internal cooldown. It's random. We haven't had a consistent pattern so far. Internal cooldowns are insist are, are, are like are consistent patterns. They may not be like a consistent, you know, every three seconds. Like Fischl's is like the f first hit, the fourth hit, and like the seventh, I think. So they're not necessarily a full consistent pattern because they can have multiple ICDs. But like this pattern hasn't been consistent, and ICDs are at least consistent. Oh, you may only be able to get four without placing a new one. Interesting. Let's try that. Let's try that. Good good call. <laughs> Shit. My chat didn't scroll up. Uh good call uh stale moves. Let's take a look at that. Let's try it. let's try that. It is possible that like you can re it, that it may have like a limit for consistent particles or something. That might be interesting. Alright, so let's try that. <laughs> God, I hate the fucking horizontal sensitivity in this game! Ah! Re! Oh, vertical sensitivity. Why is the vertical sensitivity half? Alright, so one, two, three, four. Place a new one. That one didn't give me one that time. That one did though. That one gave me one. Huh! Interesting. This could still just be luck, cause that third, that fourth one didn't give me one there. That one gave me one. Interesting. Needs a lot more testing and a lot more, a lot more tries to be sure. Oh, a lot more uh, n lot sample size. That's the word I'm thinking of. Needs bigger sample size. That one didn't get me one. That one did. Yeah, I, I think it's just RNG. We just got we just got we just got one particle out of the first five. I think it's just RNG, but Great! Gotcha energy generation again. I love that. That's my favorite thing. Real question is. He's still pyroed. So the crystallize isn't strong enough to eat to eat the uh 
to eat it on his E. Interesting. That might mean that might mean he doesn't screw up reaction comps. Yeah, he's still pyroed. So we would vape if we do this. Huh! His crystallize has an incredibly low elemental gauge. It doesn't screw with reaction teams. At least not these guys for reaction teams. I'd have to test with more uh, with weaker gauges, but still. Yeah, it's not screwing with the, it's not screwing with the elemental gauge. It's a very low power crystallize. Interesting. So he actually won't necessarily screw with reaction teams. Oh god, which characters have weak elemental gauges though? I don't remember. Alright, well, either way. It's fucking random as shit. Let's see what his ult does. Well, a bunch of them seem to have missed out of the seven, so it does seem like it's possibly RNG placement, so it's gonna be hard to get a consistent value out of that. Or consistent value number out of that value wise. Child bow shot is a weak gauge. I thought Child's bow shot is a is a strong gauge. I thought all the charge shots were strong gauges. Could be just remembering though. Deluke is all weak. Yes, correct. Let's try Deluke. Yeah, every one of Deluke's E's is a weak gauge. So. Fatal Blossom is around the perimeter of the E. Really? Have to pop more of them to Let's see. Swiftly. Elemental gauges. So when you apply a status, depending on how strong the status is, it has like... You can imagine there's like a little gauge, like a meter ticking down over time. And the strengths... Different attacks have different uh, strengths of gauge, which determines how much how powerful the other reactions have or other statuses have to be and how many status how many reactions it takes to kill all of the gauge that's why for example bennett's ult is a strong pyro gauge uh which is why you can sh melt every single one of chong yun's ult swords or three of them with a single pyro instance because it's a strong gauge and melt is and his are uh, weak gauges and also melt reverse melts uh reverse melt is weaker at reducing pyro gauges but uh, if you go to the Kaching uh, in the description for this uh, stream and all of our videos, you can go see the Kaching Discord, uh, Discord server's theory crafting library. They have a lot of resources on elemental gauges in there. Um, you'll have to look through. I haven't checked them in a second, and I'm honestly I'm still learning a lot about gauges, and we all are. We don't understand it that deeply yet, and there's a lot we don't know yet. But we do have. That's kind of how we're understand. That's the system we're understanding it with right now. Is the elemental gauge system. And if you go check out the theory crafting library, you can see find a lot of resources on it. Uh, I do plan on reading through some of the new stuff maybe in the stream at some point. But okay. No energy. No energy. One energy. Yeah, this shit just seems to be fucking random. It's act. They gave us gotcha energy again. Why? All right. I forgot. I'm testing uh, the Luke. Okay. I fucked up. I waited too long. All right, let's do this. Nope, still pyroed. Yeah, it's not. It's a very weak, weak, weak reaction for the crystallize. Interesting. Let's try with a full the Luke combo. Yeah. It. Yep. Yeah. I. It also isn't generating shields every time, which is probably because of the ICD. Hmm. I'm back. See anything new? <clears throat> it, it still just seems to be fucking random, dude. We had some where we got all f the first four all gave us energy. We had one where we had one energy out of the first five instances. It just seems to be gotcha again. Hmm. Yeah, it, it just seems to be gotcha again, which is really unfortunate. Um, do catalysts work? Let's check. It should. Bow and catalyst should both work, but let's check. 
Uh, something that we want to stress, guys, for those of you who are listening, and something to take away. It's not that Still. we're mad if it's high or low. We just want it to be consistent. consistent. Yeah. Because, because if it's not consistent, it. you can build around a character like Zhang Ling that has low energy generation for for her ult needs, right? You can build around a character like Bennett who doesn't really need ER if he's a carry or if you're swapping to him properly every two seconds to E in as a support in a swap comp because you know he has high energy gen. When it's random, you can't. You, it's not consistent. Sometimes you'll get your ults. And sometimes your ult's gonna take an extra 10 seconds, and sometimes it takes 5 seconds less. And like, it, the lack of consistency means you can't effectively build for it. That's part of Zhongli's problem with his energy. And it seems like Albedo has the same problem, which is really disappointing, but... Shrug. Okay, let's see this real quick. Feel this ancient power. You know, actually, Jinx... <clears throat> that was weird. Have you tried with Ningguang? I'm about to, yeah. I was gonna say, what if it's... Hmm. That one generator is one. That one generator is one. That one generator is one. I was about to say, because if it, if it procs off of Geo every time... No, it doesn't. Okay. Nope. <clears throat> yep. I'd actually be really okay with that. Like, if it if it was 100% on Geo and then a chance on everything else... It just seems like, to okay. be fucking random, dude. They gave us another gotcha energy mechanic. Hmm. Now the damage isn't bad considering it's defense scaled, but um, that's a good question. Can you swing through like multiple enemies at a time? Ah, uh, yeah. All right, let's go find a group. Go to um, go to the island. There's five of those or four of those guys there. This one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there they go. Favonius isn't really that gotch isn't really that RNG though. If you're running a fav if you're running a fav support, you should have at least like 30% crit rate, if not higher. You should be building for a crit rate. So even even if it, it, it gets unlucky and it takes you like four or five swings, you will get one fairly quickly. And the the, the difference between having to hit something like three times to like six times on average is not the same as having to wait as not is not the same as in a 10 second period you get anywhere from five to one and to one particle like that's a much bigger <clears throat> variance compared to crit which you can at least control by increasing crit rate on the character that uses favonius yeah. and r5 favonius weapon has nearly the highest energy regen in the game at one per one second Assuming you have this is not perfect a good group. Crit. Well, I was going to tell you to go to the stone, uh, the four ruiners. Oh, that's a terrible idea. Grouping <laughs> them up is difficult, and they can spin to slow down tests. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good idea. What's that to do about getting good? They're just going to fucking spin and ruin tests. <laughs> that's just a bad Get idea. Good. Get good. <laughs> Yeah, it seems to only have a single instance of procking. But it is AoE, so it can hit multiple targets. But even hitting two targets at once only gets one at, this, at the same time. Does the explosion itself have an AoE? Yeah, the explosion is what's AoEing. You can see that sometimes it hits both of them if they're next to each other. See? See, they both took they both took twelve to eight there, and that was a not. And those are both clear particles. It doesn't seem to be make. I, it's definitely not doubling the rates, and we didn't see a single double particle, so it's unlikely multiple hits matter. And it would be weird if it was that if that was the case too, because literally nothing in the game gets additional energy from hitting more than one target except for special C four. Oh, it's not A four, sorry, which is like the unique mechanic that does that. <laughs> Strike zero, congrats on your D-loop. Nice. Like only one of those hit. <laughs> Don't waste my time. 
try plunging. Is it consistent on plunging? Not that it. God help me if it's if it's consistent on plunging. <laughs> My I guess if we're gonna plunge, might as well plunge on the rune guard because we can knock him down. Yep. Yeah. Real quick, let me just grab uh, Chi Chi. If we're doing testing, I might as well just have free heals. Yep. I will. Oh, wait. I need my asters! Oh shit, there's a new battle pass, isn't there? Yep. Once there was a God damn it, I forgot it does a cutscene every time you do the battle pass for the first time. Kingdom came a crowned heir, tasked with seeking out the Genesis Pearl from the Kingdom of Darkness. You can skip it, but not that you want to. Jinx likes the story. Yeah, but is I'm pretty sure this is the same story every battle pass has had. Is it? I don't remember this one. She now believed that she was the I think it moves forward. It's the same? Oh. I'm pretty sure this is the same. This is really familiar, but it was also like a month ago when I last saw this, so... Yeah, it's definitely the same. You can skip it. Fuck it, at this point we already finished it. <laughs> Not reading chat. Haha, <laughs> first time? <laughs> Okay, well, unfortunately, he seems to have a fucking gotcha mechanic. Let's just get us all up real quick against these guys. I mean, I'll be honest, this is not bad echo damage, considering I have very, like, I don't really have any defense focus on him, but 2k crit on a 2 seconds echo is not bad, that's yeah. for sure. Like, it's not bad, like, the, the, like, it's not bad considering it's defense scaling, especially. Um, so it's just going off my base defense right now. We don't even have any defense scaling stats. swords, do we? Nope. Huh. You'd have to build for defense, but considering his ult's burst potential, I don't know if that's worth it. The real issue is his ult also seems to be possibly RNG for, like, how many can land on a single target. In groups, it's probably good for the AoE sake, but... Unless there's a way to control how the Fatal Blossoms on his ult work, he's going to be missing a lot of damage. Iron Sting is EM, not defense. Isn't it? Yep. Yeah. There's not a single it defense looks, the, the it only looks like it looks like the line, only defense scaling weapon in the game that's four star or higher I don't know maybe three stars do but the only uh defense scaling four star or higher is white blind like this is this is good damage it's just a matter of how fucking many of these blossoms actually can hit a target at once but this <laughs> is like even one blossom this is a competitive, like, base damage. 600 to 800 is, like, a good competitive base damage single target, but, like... Then again, it's still well, it's weaker really than Jean nice. so... Eh. Well, what's really nice is that it's a 40 cost. No, but, because, like... Because... Well, I mean, if it's a battery for Noel, then you're never gonna absorb on the character that created it, so having it be a 40 cost is at least nice for that purpose, at least. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. 40 cost doesn't really... <laughs> it doesn't really matter in terms of an energy gem perspective that much, though. It's only a 20% difference in energy charge between a 40 cost and an 80 cost over the cooldown, or off cooldowns. So it doesn't really matter that much. Let me start my credit card and win. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the 1337 from Risky Charters. Hey, yo, thanks to you guys, I'm running Zhang Carry. I'm having fun. JK, love you guys in the Zhang. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying Zhang Li. It does make me a little sad that he was- he is as powerful as he is as a carry though, cause he doesn't really have like a carry kit, but hey, that's how they designed him, so that's how they balance his numbers. Alright, let's see this real quick. Does he mess with Shatter? Golem? Yeah, no, you're- Okay, big target, we got four procs out of the seven. Is it really just fucking eight random? Yeah, let's try- 
Ah! You could put a fab sword on him. Oh, you could, but like, I'm not saying you can't. Uh, but it's a matter of seeing if. <laughs> here's the thing: if he's not gonna be the Gen's own ult, well, he's not gonna be a good Noel bat. Yeah. That's the problem. I don't. I'm not really convinced he's gonna be a good Noel bat the way he is right now. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna have him regardless because I want more Bennett cons. <laughs> True. Alright, let's put this like right. I'm, I'm a little curious if we get something on the edge, will I get hit more by this? Witness my great undertaking. No, fucking, some of them landed over here. It's just fucking in the circle. Fantastic. Oh. His ult damage is also gotcha. <laughs> oh. Why? 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 I was so excited, but his ult is also gotcha. It's got good AOE on it though. The range of the the AOE on each of those explosions is good. You but, know that's not, you know that's how Gon Yu's ult's gonna work too. Fucking bet. Uh -huh. Oh god damn it! Destroy the thing. You you know you know that's how Gon Yu's ult is gonna work. He's gonna throw random icicles everywhere. Mm. And we got two that time. Only two of the seven hit him, and he's a rune guard. He's massive. <laughs> your wife, your waifu is problematic. Ganyu is not going to make Klee good. <laughs> Feel bad. Life goes on. Why is he's more gotcha than Zhongli is? Who thought this was a good idea? Use Klee? What is Klee gonna do? Uh, this person wants to just see you use Klee because it was in the fucking trailer. Oh, oh, and, oh. They've been spamming it for like two minutes. Oh, um, yeah, nah. I, I might I might just ban him. <laughs> Kek. Don't waste my time. Burst forth. By the way, guys, uh, <laughs> we will be testing some stuff tomorrow on uh, Twitch. If oh, no. You oh, no. oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! He has oh, me against no. the wall! He's pressing you against the wall. How does it feel? Kek. Uh, but yeah, if you guys would like, we'll be streaming tomorrow on Twitch. Uh, Jinx will be joining me. Oh shit, I'm out of we'll stamina. Test some stuff out, Save see what Gigi. we can do. Supporting the Twitch is the same as supporting the YouTube, so we really do appreciate yeah, the support ye. you guys have given us the past, uh, past while, actually. So thank you very much. Oh, he just said fuck you to being frozen, that's funny. Oh, she just probably around 9,000 followers on Twitch, so huge, thank you. What time tomorrow? Noon PST. <sighs> you could try on the, uh, big Regivine. It doesn't matter if it's on the- like, it doesn't matter, it, how, like, what the damage looks like with all of the things hitting, because you can calc that. What matters yeah. is how consistent is the damage output. And well, so I mean, far, I just want to see what it- I just want to see if it even hits all seven on the biggest enemy in the game. Alright, sure. Bet. <laughs> I just want to see if they will all hit on the biggest enemy in the game. Alright, bet. Because if it can't do it on that, then I mean... Uh, Looney. Looney34, thank you for the prime. <laughs> Thirty four, thank you then very much for the sent me something. <clears throat> the truth of this world. <sighs> okay. What could it be? C6 Kaya, nice. Congrats, Recon. Shit, am I even gonna be able to knock this guy down? <laughs> yeah, you were kind of low. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god. What? Where's my E? Oh, can it not be inside of him? Wait, it's not triggering. Oh my god, does this oh. not proc on fucking shielded targets? Oh, wow. No, go. Wait, wait. Hold on. Go to Abyss Mage. Go to the Abyss Mages near the pond. 
Which pond? The, uh, where there's, like, two... Or, no, no, go back to the rock. Uh, go to the island, the stone island. Yeah, there's a pyro abyss. Well, he's not alone, though, so it's a little annoying to fight him. Um... Uh... Oh, 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 all the way south, all the way south, all the way south. Um, right there, uh, where the domain is. Where are the domain? Yeah, inside there, there's a cryo mage. Oh, yeah, 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 in the cave under. Right, right, right. Yeah, solo cryo mage. It, yeah, people are saying that it's, uh, not even proc, it doesn't proc on targets because it only procs on damage, which probably presumably means health damage. Yeah, I mean, but that means it does work on Fatui, yeah. so. God damn it. I was excited about his kit, too. So what you're saying is, fuck rolling on the five-star banner at all, just put all of my money into the FabGS. <laughs> Law, I mean, if you ain't got a C1 Bennett yet, that's definitely worth pulling for. I got a C1 Bennett. I know you C6 do. That's why. C6 and a C4 fish. Well, C6 fish is worth it, but that's really up to you, bud. <laughs> and the the reality is too is that they may tune him. And this is it's still early. It's still too early to really say much. I'm just no really disappointed that his alt and his E are both kind of gotcha. I need to not drown this guy on accident. It's kind of the main thing. I could get used to this. Hey, buddy. Follow me over here so I don't drown you on accident. If you need an easier one, there's one by the Selly domain. I don't think he's going to come over here. <laughs> Yeah, just go to the one by the Sully domain. Okay, I'm actually not yeah. sure if this is in the right spot for this is the problem. Okay, there we go, that works. Yep! Oh wait, that one's down there. It's possible he's not in the radius because of elevation difference. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm drowning! Oh no! <laughs> Pain, Pecco. Oh, now you tell- Go f- <coughs> God damn it. Okay, there we go. Well, okay, so that one can- Yep! Uh, pull Kill up to me. the minimap. <laughs> pull up to the minimap. Huh? Alright, go up. What do I- we, we know it doesn't work now. <laughs> well, I'm just saying go to a Fatui. Huh? Oh, sure. Not that one. It's, uh, yeah, uh, t the one that says right on top of the valley. Yep, that one. Yeah. And then go head west. <clears throat> I mean, it sure will come for Tui. They're still taking damage. Well, Does it I work on immunes? Just... Okay, it works on immunes at least. Well, not on shield immunes. Oh my god, so he can't even break shields? Yeah, he, he can't, can't even, even break, break geo shield. shields. He can't even break a geo shield. He can't even break geo shields unless there's other units around. Pain, Peko. Kill me. J just, just kill me. Kill me, pain, you sons of bitches. Pain, Do it, you Peko. cowards. Kill can me. Pain, can I get a pain, Peko? In kill the chat? me. <laughs> My experiment failed. God nope. damn it. <laughs> we got a couple. <laughs> I can't believe he can't even break Geo Shields, bro. What the fuck? Well, I guess okay. technically he can plunge them. Plunge has plunge has additional sh has like additional uh break value, but yeah, ye. Okay, so you can do it on. Yeah, can do it on two shields. Li it's it's literally just coded that it needs to do damage. That's scuffed. I mean, I will say, 
Compared to Zhang Li, he's theoretically a he is theoretically a better shield support because of crystallized frequency. <laughs> but KSL cross thank you for the five Zhang zero point five. He's not even Zhang two. He's zero point five. <laughs> this hurts. This hurts. Everybody hurts sometimes. <laughs> E plunge, E plunge, repeat seems like a good way to use them. That seems like the worst possible thing to do. Imagine getting hit and getting knocked across the floor. I am. Um... Okay, well. Ban is still worth it because Ben is on there. Yeah, no, I mean, and that's the funniest part is the banner's God, still the banner's absolutely worth it. It's actually worth it because Bennett's on it. And Sucrose and Fisher both also fantastic units. Yeah. Uh, no, initial like, like testing the... just shows that Elevator Boy is kind of lackluster. The because... reality is, dude, is that this is still the best banner I think we've ever had. Yeah. Well, Child and Klee were both actually very good as well, but. Ah! Bennett's the five star. It's okay. Just think about it like Bennett's the five star, and this banner is totally the best banner we've ever had. True, but for people who have low purchasing power, hitting pity is a genuine concern. Yeah, but Bennett is like the best, one of the best units True. in the game. Like it, True. It's he's fine. actually he's actually five star power level. So it's fine. You're getting Bennett. It's worth. <laughs> Assuming you get Bennett. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. It took me. But if if you start it took from me zero, you're more likely to get a poles to get a see to get a to get a cons on my fucking Beto on the <laughs> fucking child banner. I got as I got two childs before I got what I got two Betos. But theoretically speaking, if you know, assuming you have to go to pity, you should theoretically get multiple Bennets before you get a single Albedo. If you start from zero. Yeah, but a lot of people are already at Pity because a lot of people have been saving Pity from previous rolls because they didn't want to roll for the 5 stars, but they didn't want to roll for those 4 stars. Yeah, well... What con should you stop on Bennett? C0 is still very good. C1 is fantastic. Uh, Critolic, thank you for the... C1 is his big spike in power output, but... Uh, thank you for the 2. All of them except for, I think C4 is the only one I'm not sure is good, and C6 is kind of a trap. C6 does make him stronger, but it lo it lo it kills his flexibility. He's kind of locked into pyro teams. Oh, thank you so much for the 151. Yeah. Check Alt Blossom with more enemies in the circle. I mean, it'll hit more enemies, but, like, the single target being this bad is concerning. But, yeah, let let's go Alt a group, of tar uh, group real quick. Uh, the C, the Selly, uh, Selly dungeon. Hmm? The Selly dungeon has like five Selly? people sitting What's right? the Selly dungeon? Uh, the Celia. Go up. Uh, there's a group of- I have all the treasure hunters marked on the map. I'll just go to a group of treasure hunters. Is C4 Bennett good? I don't know. Uh, I'm not 100% sold that the C4 combo it gives you is better than just tapping E. I have to look more into it, but I need- I need like footage, really, to get my own frame counts for it. Uh, Beto is not better than GOMC for energy regen for Noel. No. In the slightest, no. He's not even better than Ning without C2. <laughs> yeah. even, even if it was perfect, it would just be on par with... Uh, GOMC. GOMC. But I will say, his, his, his... Okay, so... His E output for relatively low investment is really good. Because this yeah. is... Pretty decent damage at a two at like a two second DPS or oh, two seconds proc per two seconds. It's got a it's got perfect uptime because you can replace it so easily. Uh, so his E's not look looking pretty good, and his ult isn't. Let's see. Okay, so he each got be hit by three that time, out of seven. Is there a guaranteed first, first hit, at least? Yeah. The the, oh, okay. the first big hit, the biggest hit, that's 508 motion value, is guaranteed. Okay. Well, that's not bad, then. It's not bad, but, like... 
Even without Zhongli's HP scaling. Like, Zhongli's, without, Zhongli's ult without HP scaling is hitting 640. And then it has HP scaling on top of that. Yeah. Like, this isn't even competitive with Zhongli's ults. Assuming you can't yeah, get multiple Yeah, but his hits. E makes up for it. Yeah, true. Unlike Zhongli. Mm. Damage-wise... So, okay. Damage-wise... It's not consistent on his ults, but damage-wise, he's not looking bad. But I'm gonna have to really do full calcs on deep on effective DPS, and it's a bit harder to do full calcs on effective DPS because since his uh, E scales off the defense, I actually have to calc total damage. I can't just calc uh, I can't just calc like motion value per second. Um. His A4 a, is a also shame. really valuable, too, is the thing. Well, it's really valuable for a non geo team. Well, yeah, on. but as a non geo team support that you throw into reaction teams, because really the only EM sharing we have is Instructor's Force at Sucrose and Albedo. So yeah. that does ha that does get add a lot of value. I'm wondering if. Uh, I'm your panda. Thank you for the prime. Appreciate you. So I'm disappointed that he has so much gotcha included. Yeah. But his DPS output at first glance, I haven't calced anything yet, but at first glance is pretty good. Yeah. Like his DPS output is pretty good as a support. Uh, I have to do full calcs. I'm going to have to figure out what to what to assume for What's Flash hip, of Genius procs? do? Because even at three alt procs, it's not that strong. What's Flash of Genius do? Hmm? So Shit, that's really thing. good. I was going to say, but is that the same as Sucrose? No. Sucrose has refund on uh, not Weapon Ascension, Matt, something else. Uh, What's Mona? Uh, Mona's on not this. It's not the same one. Okay, so we this don't have is a new. weapon ascension. We don't have a weapon ascension character. Wait, is this Good. the same as Mona's? Does Mona's do weapon mats? Oh, but Mona refunds as opposed to double products. Oh shit. Yeah. Uh, I guess depends on which one's better. <laughs> Probably double products is better because if it works, then it's like three of the ones. So I don't know. Because if you need three to level up, and Mona's has a 25% chance to refund, theoretically, it should be better. If Mona's was 30%, then it would be the same. But theoretically, this should be a better outcome. I don't know. Hello. Can I'm just I'm I'm chatting with some theory crafters real quick. See if we world. found anything yet. Only oh, tested a, a handful of times though. E is E seems to be over fifty percent, but it is gotcha as far as I can tell. In order to For run Sucrose energy. and El Beto on a team, you would need like. Running. <laughs> Ching Cho and Diluc or something in order to have like a consistent I mean realistically like it's still even at an income even if, so if we assume it's oh it's if we assume it's oh thank you so much for the 151 check test run to see how blossom patterns work oh does it actually state it in test run okay let's like let's take a look then um <laughs> events right oh. here yeah <laughs> Sucrose is scaling on EM, yeah, but Sucrose needs like over like three hundred and seventy something to match bait to match this guy. So you need an obscene amount of EM on Sucrose to beat Albedo's A four. Lol, that's a funny name. We're not gonna read that one out loud. <laughs> Spam his E. It's only 180 damage, it's not a lot.
This doesn't say anything about his passing. I have 7.32 EM on Sucrus. God damn. Yeah, 7.32 is only 146. So. I'm still 70. You got 77.32? Shit. Albedo E can break Geo Shield Slime? With the Tap E, sure. But not with the... Uh, you can't proc your... Uh, you can't proc the Echoes on it. Um, this doesn't say anything about the pattern. It just um, says if, it just says it, it all it says is that the ML bus will generate a failure blossom within its perimeter. The failure blossom, it just says within the perimeter. Let me my credit card it, it, it just seems to be <laughs> random. This is all in the test with the number of enemies. Okay, let's record this so we can the, actually like. Let's record this so we can actually like see it more accurately. Uh, I was gonna say the only other thing I can think of is if we go into multiplayer and then basically every time you pop your ult, I'm standing above you and seeing what the fuck it looks like and then we record it. See if it's a consistent pattern if it just goes RNG. I mean, so far the patterns we've seen have been pretty random. Sometimes they're more focused in the line in front of it and sometimes they're side to side. But yeah, all right. So recording, pop Moments this. Of birth. Hmm. I didn't see any single target get hit more than two times, but I'll take it. I'll double check. Feel this ancient power. Yeah, I didn't see a single target hit, get hit more than two, maybe three times. I think the big guy got hit three times. Wait, why is my ult up again? Witness my great undertaking. You got C1 Kaching instead of Albedo? C1 Kaching's good. This guy didn't even get hit once. Oh, no, I think he got hit by one blossom. Why is my ult up again? How much ER does this guy have? 160.5 and he's using a fav sword? What cons is this? Zero, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Feel this ancient power. Oh shit, did that really go down during my cast animation? Are you fucking no. kidding me? Yep, can't generate energy now. Look, we can't and now we can't generate energy because they both have shields up. No. That didn't even generate a particle. Yep, and now we can't generate energy. Because shields are up. Obviously I can There's... pop the shields with Zhang Ling, but still. He Oh my god! They just made a Geo character that's countered by enemy shields. That's hilarious. The shield, the shield element is countered by element by enemy shields. What the fuck? That's hilarious. Wait, does Fab Sword not work? I'm not, I don't, you have to do damage. You can't crit if you don't do damage. Wow. I didn't realize yeah. that. Wow. <laughs> He's counted by enemy shields. <laughs> oh. Alright, real quick. Okay, let's take a look at this footage and double check. I, I didn't see any, I didn't, at a glance, I didn't see anyone get hit more than two by more than two. But yeah. there may have been some hit by three. But even in getting hit by three, that's not great base damage for an ult. But his E does seem to have pretty decent output. Which makes me wonder if you actually want to run defense on him. I don't know. We'll take a look. It does make me wonder if you act if he actually wants to run defense to focus on his E damage instead. Because his ult's so gotcha. But I don't know. I will take a look. I also need to see what... Uh... Other people have tested. Okay, so building up first alt. Well, if Alberto's not a good energy generator, I mean, he's still not. He's not consistent, but he is generating a lot of energy. No, I'd rather just have GOMC. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of the problem. Is why not just GOMC? As much as as much damage as his E does, if you think about it, if it's only adding like two thousand per two seconds, well, GOMC's E can hit for like eight K, so 
non-crit. <laughs> yeah, but this is also without him being built for E damage. But yeah, I gotcha. I, I will do some more calcs to see his DPS, because it's still possible his DPS is good. It's just the rest of his mechanics are kind of bleh. Okay, so everyone got hit by one initial hit. Blossoms come up. One blossom that gets hit once, hit once, hit once. Hit once. Yeah, so two here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one there. Yeah, there wasn't any time where three blossoms were close enough to a Venn diagram on a single target. I think three so might be the highest the realistically. Community. Thank you, Pacer. Appreciate you. Oh, thank you so much, Paper Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... Three is looking like the realistic limit right now, but obviously Jinx we've only tested biased like times, against so. Geo. The only Geo thing think is good. No, we think Ning is fucking awesome. We think an Animo I've been, or Geo MC is fucking I, awesome. We think Noel is fucking. Good. I love playing Ning. Ning's <coughs> really good because Ning does what Geo should be doing, which is that she's a good Petra support and she does a lot of high base damage. She does very good base damage to make up for her lack of reactions. Ning is the only Geo character in the game currently I would consider, like, still around as, like, a carry or a burst damage support, still around low S tier, despite the fact that she can't do reactions because her base damage is that high. Ning has insane base damage, especially at C6. But Zhongli doesn't, and his shielding isn't really enough to make up for it, in my opinion. And oh, I still have to calculate Albedo's damage. It's possible his base damage justifies running him just as a pure base damage support. But mm -hmm. right now, I'm not really impressed because, of the, unfortunately, his energy gen is gotcha, which means it's hard to build around. Uh, it's not doesn't seem bad because it seems to be like around two thirds, maybe higher proc rate. So that's not bad, but it is gotcha. We had one, we had one 10 second period of time earlier where we got one particle the, for 10 seconds. So it is gotcha. Um, and his ults. It, we can we can try to figure out, like, his ult may not have as big a range as we think it does, because, like, right now it's looking like he can only get one to three blossoms on a single target. And that's that's okay. Like, it, that, at least we can understand how much damage it's going to do based off of that kind of information. Because it's saying it has seven blossoms is very <clears throat> misleading when they're so spread out. So far, everything we've seen shows you can get around at most three, but on average, two extra blossoms per target. Um... Now, this is now he is AoE versus Ning, who is primarily single target, so that is a difference, but Can you throw down an E real quick? Oh, I'm I'm looking at I'm looking I know. at this right now. Okay, so first initial hits, not bad. One here, one here, one here, one here, one here. Three here. So yeah, three, it's, every pattern we've seen so far is looking like three is about the max per target, but more ac more likely of getting around two on average. Um, What was with the energy regen off of ult? Uh, fav particles and things dying. You see all these particles I'm getting? Does Fab work on skills? Yeah, it's any damage oh. source of yours as long as you're on field. Oh. Fab doesn't work if you're off field, but it works on field. That's why I like Fab Lance on Zhang Ling so much if I don't have a Bennett carry to fund her because mm -hmm. she hits four times with the initial instance of her ult plus a Guaba hit. That's five mm -hmm. hits. The chance you don't crit during that is incredibly low if you have a crit hat, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking like... At most, you're getting three on the single targets. Yeah. But more realistically, we're looking at, like, two per target. Again, we're at, like, N equals 12 tests right now, maybe. So I can't say this is, like, a reliable... This is, like, certain, but based on initial observations. We got, like, okay, initial hit. One there, one there, one there. Wait, how much? Wait, wait a second. That's not seven. One there. One there. One there. One there. That only generated four. 
the fuck? How have they generated four blossoms? Not seven. First impression on him so far, he has inconsistent energy gen, but his damage looks potentially promising. Good. Yeah. If it were consistent, which we're trying to figure out what's the consistent average that you should like, be like what's the what's like the range we can expect for it, basically. Yeah, like we could say, okay, on average you're gonna get hit with two. Okay, well then there we we'll calculate based off of the average of two, and yeah. then we'll say, okay, well his average damage is eight hundred. Yeah. Per yeah, bolt. that puts him at like eight twenty around eight twenty, yeah. which isn't yeah. that's not bad. <clears throat> that's good. That's pretty good base damage actually. Eight twenty is pretty good. Um. So, like, yeah, I do think the seven blossoms is incredibly misleading because of, like, it seems like because there weren't enough targets on field here, it only actually seemed to have spawned four. Like, in this last, in this last, oh, we just looked at, not oh, this one. This one's, yeah, let's see. Oh, wait, this is the super unlucky one where my E timed out as I pressed fucking Q, yeah. I uh, know, this one. In this one right here, there's only actually technically two two targets on screen because the other slime is jumping um wait yeah there's only there's three targets on screen sorry four targets on screen <clears throat> oh what one died are you gonna shit on him just because of that surely listen geo is literally the all-purpose the all-purpose shield destroyer that is its job it does extra damage to all shields but not the most out of any of them yeah geo's job is literally to break shields and to give you shields <laughs> and to give you shields <clears throat> what the fuck yeah my energy is full again what the hell is going on with this because I haven't collected any particles yet. Oh, wait, no, I have. Right there. Yeah, no, uh, it, it's just full because I have eye energy recharge. You see that right there? That's, uh, two full, that's two full orbs from things dying. That is a lot of energy. It's not surprising that fills me up at 160. On top of the five particles. Yeah, it, it's not surprising it refills. Uh, I don't think people realize how much energy you get from killing shit. Like, I, I think about... most people don't realize how much energy you get from killing shit until you do Abyss 12-3 and you can't kill shit fast. And you're like, wait, my ults are taking, like, twice as long to charge for some reason. Yeah, like, uh, something about the ult counts the procs as you count, uh, as you cast it. And if a mob dies, the pre-assigned proc dies with the mob. That makes... Nothing. That probably makes... That kind of makes sense, because, like, we only get four blooms here out of seven, but all of these targets are dying, so an additional ones that were probably assigned to them aren't procking. And even on solo targets, we've at most seen, I think we saw four hits on a rune god, because it's big, but yeah, on I was everything gonna say, else... Well, here, go to, well, well, just to test your theory, yeah. go to the rune guard again and count how many, because you, you were saying, oh, you were thinking that maybe it was four because there's only two people. We'll go to the rune guard. We no, know the, no there were seven on the rune guard. Well then, okay, there you it go. It definitely so, spawned seven on the rune guard. Like it for a hundred percent spawned all seven against the rune guard. Um, but they just they whiffed. Like we got so basically, on the on the uh four rune guards ults we did, we got one with four hits, one with three hits, and two with two, if I recall correctly. I might be okay. misremembering the values, but I remember there only ever being one instance where he had four and he was sitting down, so he has a bigger hitbox when he's sitting down. Uh if you can restream Genshin to me. Sure. Oh, I must have timed out while I was doing the, uh, while I was taking the slow down yeah, one. Yeah, because it is paused. So probably just <sighs> to cut bandwidth, just says, hey. I mean, 800 base AoE isn't bad. So, yeah. like, that's not actually bad. Like, like we've been saying, his damage potentially is very good. The main concern is that you have to choose between investing in his ults or his E damage. Because they scale, they scale off of either attack or defense. So I mean, obviously you can you you invest in like you know you get geo because it affects both. You get crit because it affects both. But then like you know this is only affecting my alt damage. And I guess I have a substat for the e damage, but it's not affecting my e damage. This is only affecting my alt damage, not my e damage. Um, 
So you're gonna have to choose if you want to invest more in his E or his ult damage, which is, I think, a bit problematic. Um, it means that he can't consolidate investment very well. Okay, we drop this. Witness my great undertaking. He got hit by four there, but he was also walking and walked into one. <laughs> Thank you for the... One sec. My stuff's in the way. Thank you for the $5 super chat, Alonzo de Leon. 40 wishes. C4 the C6 fish or saving pity, uh, pity safe for Ganyu barely. Nice. C6 fishes. Insane. Congrats. Congrats. Congratulations. Bat meaning. Can you please go back for the test right now? Better skill seems to scale well at base. Trying to see, try to see if it works well with his young Ling spamming plunge attacks. Do they really want a plunge attack carry? So fucking scuffed, dude. If you get hit while in the air, your DPS is down. It doesn't matter if you get hit in the air. It's low because you have to wait for it to rise and execute a plunge attack. Yeah. Like... I mean, you could probably jump off early, but. Yeah, but the thing is, I mean, if you would, if you like, one sec, like it, it has a delay before you can make a new one, so it's pretty slow for rotations. Like if we pop this right, so this lets me I have to wait about one second for it to go up. You have to wait for it to dissolve first before you can go back up again. So that's what three seconds, maybe, four seconds, yeah. about four seconds. I don't know. Let's see. Let me see how fast I can do this. The DL Beto plunge attack combo, guys, no. Four sec. I mean, as a meme, it's funny and it's an interesting setup, but like. I was gonna say, it, it's faster to just jump on a fucking rock. I know it doesn't work in Abyss, but. <laughs> yep. Like, what are we looking at? Uh, let's see. What's the Luke's plunge damage? And if I remember right, you can't even. Up to 325. That is. That is like... You can do your entire combo in three seconds. Yep. How about like... People saying Zhang Ling. I don't have level four, but either way, point is we're talking 204 versus all of this in about the same time span. Uh, Razor, 298. Venti, <laughs> I have level one, so I can't really see that. But ka -ching, level seven, only 253. Ningguang 193, but not that's only level 5, <laughs> only 142, but it's not going to scale up to probably past 250. Um, I mean, plunge attack is funny. It's it's funny. I'm not going to, it's it's a meme for sure, but it's not going to be good DPS. I don't even have to really calc that. We know this is at least three seconds between point. rotation for, for like point. a charge attack, right? Hey, Cabs, thank you for the PHP 50. Shatter comp, try attacking one, charge cancel two. Uh, you mean like a freeze shatter comp? You did like Chong Yun and Jing He shatters with his E. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. It's like run Xing Ch Chowen. I mean. Just as a meme, sure, I guess. it's still a meme because since you're shattering, you can't use cryo set. Oh shit, my headphones. Mic check. Okay. You can't use cry. You can't use cryo set. You're shattering. You're we don't know what Zhao on. is gonna do, guys. So yep. there's really no reason to speculate on it. They could be completely changing him. They've already like based on what is known about him now, he has changed a lot since the last time we got we had any info on him. So he's gonna change. Speculating on Zhao is just kind of pointless. And if I remember right, in the beta, wasn't Zhao the old, literally the only yep. character that he could do a the plunge only character attack? Plunge. So, I doubt that they want to do a plunge-based thing with him since everybody else can plunge now. Okay. I mean, as a meme, we can do this, but... 
It's still, it's a meme. This this is a meme. It's not going to be very good because if he's running cryo set, he has the same issue Chong Yun does where he's shattering. And if he's in any and if he's in any cryo team, he's going to be shattering. So you're going to get maybe 50%, maybe a little bit higher uptime on your cryo set. That means that you're losing 55% crit half the time. Does have... Does he share EM to himself? Not that it's a lot of EM, but... I, I mean, think his shatter's a little bit better. Yeah. Doesn't make up for 55% crit loss. <laughs> I know. Does the last attack in this chain do Geo? No, it's just physical. Well, yeah, I was gonna say check the... Uh... Nah, the thrust, the thrust isn't even Geo infused. Let me weave you. Know my sword. Look at that wet twig. Force, my <laughs> Shatters. Shatters. Okay, he's not gonna have like he's actually not gonna have super low uptime on his normal string. I do need to see how he's gonna look on his uh, charge string though. Let's see charge spam. I guess it's nice because he does attack faster than Chong Yun, and it's only one shatter every yeah, two exactly. seconds instead of a shit ton of them. Yup. But he still does has he still does have the issue where he's not a part of the cryo comp to. Yep. Give so you you're, you're basically using you're basically choosing to use him instead of a Venera unit, which is a lot of DPS loss probably. Um, yeah. I mean, especially you throw because if you, Petra on him and get. A little bit of it back. <laughs> He's not. I mean, yeah. At that point, you wouldn't be using his charge attacks, though. If you're building him with Petra, his uh, his basics are gonna do shit damage. So yeah. you would still have to run Kaya as the carry. You would just be going yeah. for kind of like a occasional shadow damage, which actually m might yeah. be worth it if Kaya's not losing too much uptime on his cryo yeah. set. Well, here, yeah. Switch it around. Let's see what that looks like. Instead of Veneer, just use Albedo. Real quick, since we're already doing this. Yeah, that might be the play, actually. Just run a Petra set on him. One with my blade. Coming to be. He's getting really low procs on his E because of the uh, timing for this. Yeah. It's like about one. It's a like one and a third seconds per rotation. Yeah. So you're. Only shattering every you're only doing procking his E every like 2.6 seconds on a clean string, and like if you're not clean with your charge inputs, it's a lot slower. Yeah, yeah he has kind of the same issue Kaya does, where like his input buffer window is really small, so it's actually kind of hard to input this really cleanly. Like, my Kaya charges were slower, were quite a, even at the fastest I did, were still quite a bit slower than frame perfect because the input window buffer is so small. You kind of have to mash M1 really hard to get it to come out fast. Yeah. If he can be used instead of, um... Oh, wait, shit, he walk cancels. Wait, am I see Oh my god, he walk... His charge walk cancels! Look, this is me doing it fast as I... This is me doing it, like, as fast as I can, standing. This is me holding W. He walk cancels his charge. That's so funny. <laughs> do you not do that on everybody? Huh? I do on accident because I'm normally holding W anyway. But I'm, but like I'm just finding it. I just find it interesting that his his charge actually walk cancels, which is probably an important thing to know for mobile players, especially you know, because they probably aren't always holding W. <laughs> Zach, the re I have to keep showing these messages. Zach, one of the issues why it's important that Geo breaks shields well is because, generally speaking, if you're running two Geo units, that means you have a lot less elemental diversity. Especially if that Geo buff goes through, it's really going to incentivize you to run G two Geos. And if one of your characters doesn't break Geo that well, well, or doesn't break shields that well, then well... You have to bring a Claymore in that team. It restricts your team comps in full and basically right. makes them less valuable. 
Right. One of the reasons I like Chongyun so much for current Abyss 12-3 is because he breaks both the Geo Fatui shields and also breaks the uh, Thunder Fatui shields. Thunder. Because he is Cryo and the Claymore. So he lets me consolidate that role when I already have very... Sh if, if you do late Abyss, you will understand why consolidating shield breaking is so important. Guys, in uh, for those of you who are like, talking about... Yeah. First of all, one. For those of you guys who are talking about Zhao... Uh, <laughs> Albedo being Zhao's best in slot support at C4. First of all, let me say, getting any 5-star to C4 is a shit ton of money unless you're exceptionally lucky. So planning that for a character... That's that like saying Klee yet, becomes the best the best burst support in the game at C4. Right. Um, and then two, we don't know what Zhao is going to do anymore. He It's out of beta. He's in working. Like, they could change him tomorrow. And if you invested all that money into Albedo just to possibly get Zhao a good support, then and then you know when Zhao releases, what are you doing? <laughs> he's suddenly worthless with him because Zhao ends up, because like you know maybe the live version is focused more on swirl Zhao and he can't swirl, like. We just we never recommend that anyone makes investments based off of beta information. Yeah. Unless, you, is, unless you have so much why. money, you just don't care. Like, yeah, if you have yeah, enough money that you can you can pull a C six every banner, then whatever. But like, for anyone who actually for anyone who has like income restrictions for this kind of thing, oh shit. It's the same thing when people were asking us, well, oh, well, you guys think, so then do you think that Zhongli is going to be good with all these buffs? Like, should we pull the form? It's like, the fact of the matter is, is like, we don't know when these buffs are going to arrive. We also, don't know honestly, if these I don't buffs think the buffs are going to make him good anyway. But even, well, even we if they know did. If these are the buffs that we're going to go, you know, who knows when he comes out. You might be using different characters by then. And it's just the fact of the matter is, is that like... We don't know. It's basically basing it off of his, like, beta leaks. <laughs> it's basically the exact same thing. It's the same thing as it's the same thing as on day one pulling for a uh, building up re building up stuff to pull for Zhongli, getting his stuff ready, and then pulling him on day one because you thought he was gonna buff physical teams. Right. It's, it's the exact same thing. Do you and know a lot of people, people got burned because they did that? And, yeah, and it's like I say, do you know how many people even a week later after Zhang Li had been out for a well, week? Well, like, why are you running oh, on he's, physical he's, teams? Well, he's like, he's best in slot for Razor, right? No, no. he doesn't buff physical. <laughs> Feel this ancient power. Yep. Uh, the only reason I'm not streaming right I'm now big is target. because Jinx is streaming. And yeah. I just figured. All right. I mean, I feel like at this point we've done the tests win. we need to do. <laughs> <laughs> on the, on like the, the only thing I really needed to know to calc is like. DPS. Oh, Kevin, thank you for the thirty. Oh, thank you so much, Kevin, for the thirty. Here's to hopefully more YouTube streams. Yeah, I mean, I like doing these kinds of testing streams and Q and A streams and stuff like that. Uh, I realized when I tried streaming Cyberpunk for two days that I forgot that I hate streaming normally. Like normal streaming, because I don't feel yeah. like I don't like being I don't like feeling like I'm on stage and have to entertain and shit like that and not be like answering questions and stuff, which I enjoy. Yep. I enjoy teaching. I don't really enjoy being a streamer on stage, if that makes sense. Okay, so um, all right, so he definitely needs with ER. the, he definitely try needs it with ER. the Kaya. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, because that's his pretty much what I'm interested in now at this point is if I can test him with my Kaya. Card. Yeah, let's I mean, see how but how <laughs> many hits it really is costing Kaya. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Cause his, I mean, from what I've seen so far, his base values don't seem bad, but like the split investments makes him more questionable. Cause having to invest defense and attack to scale both his E and his alts is a bit questionable. Um. um... His base values are good, his E does good damage, his ult does good damage, his energy regen is inconsistent. But and it's, his it's, fucking it's, elevator is a yeah. goddamn troll. <laughs> it, it's a meme. It's a funny meme, but it's a meme. It's a, the forklift is a meme. Well, yeah, you're all yet. Yeah. Huh. Oh shit, I'm out of stamina. I fucked up. 
What do you, All right, we redo this. That's a that's a freaking thing I've heard that I'm just laughing about. People are like, "Oh, we shouldn't buff Zhang Li because then it's gonna promote power creep." <laughs> like, buffing Zhang Li does not power creep. <laughs> Yeah, bush, buffing Zhang Li is not going to. Power oh my creep. god, that's like saying we should have we shouldn't buff Amber because it promotes power creep. Yeah. Yeah. That's fun. I mean, to be fair though, there is something to be said about setting a precedent for buffing characters because they because the because the community views them as weak on release. That is a dangerous precedent to set. That can be a dangerous precedent to set. Um. Yeah, I, show that I don't. I don't know. I don't know who's going around saying that it's bad to buff Zhang Li because it's gonna break the game. Oh yeah, like, no. Like he's he's not. He's incredibly weak. And these <gasps> things that these things that they're doing for him aren't even in, in a good direction to buff him that well. Why am I in, why am I inputs like dropping? What? I don't know, you're really slow. What's yeah, that? like my inputs are dropping. It's weird. Okay. Cool it. Uh -huh. Should probably drop my sets. I'm killing this guy trying to test this shit. Swift and merciful. Whoops. Oh wait, Jinx. Freeze. I know what we need to test. See if his E can be used to dodge the uh, frog explosion on or on Oceanid. The frog explosion? I don't think he gets yeah. high enough, but we can try. Yeah, we can. Um, no, that's that's yeah. What's the motion values on each of his hits again? So you're shattering on the first hit every time. Uh, Kai is like not necessarily every time, but. You're shattering really often. I'm I'm inputting really slow, obviously, so it it's not really an accurate. I wonder test, if it but... would actually be better in this specific case because you're shattering on the first hit, the, like the initial hit, but then you're not sh you're not. And you're the problem is the, the cryo and the problem is the initial the hit's the weakest charge hit. hit. J yeah. Yeah. Let me, let me let me finish. Yeah. You're shattering on the initial the hit, thing. which means your charge attack is applying the cryo. Which means your charge attack isn't the one that's getting the fucking crit. Exactly, which is the highest. So I wonder value. if you, it, I'm well. That's what I'm telling yeah. you. Is I wonder if in this specific case, then you want to just use. What's the hurry? Spam attack. No. The motion value difference is way too big. What's the hurry? Uh, charge versus spam attack is about forty percent stronger. <laughs> <laughs> it's way too big. A, oh, 30, wait, wait, 35, wait, 30 percent stronger. It's way too big a difference to justify that. Hold on. We, yeah, go test on Oceanid because if he can't place an E down on Oceanid, that means he can't ult, which means he's actually fucking useless on Oceanid. What am I doing? He has to be. He has to be able to put an E down on Oceanid, otherwise he is actually fucking useless. I mean, not useless, but his DPS is still good. Probably. Um, what is, it seems what like is his DP? Good, but... If he can't place a fucking E down, then how is he gonna get E procs? Oh, you mean useless against Oceanid specifically? That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. if you can't place a thing down on Oceanid, then he cannot actually do anything. Because you can still throw a fucking GOMC off, I believe. Well, I'm sad. That being said, at least his base DPS is looking pretty good, so... But I'm just, I'm just kind of sad that he's really lacking much utility outside of his base DPS, and, uh... I guess crystallized generation's not bad. Um, but base DPS and, like, his A4 is really good. Um... I just... I, if, I'm, if I'm running a reaction team and I'm running him for his A4, I'd probably just rather run Sucrose. But he is gonna be cheaper than Sucrose to build for that specifically, at least. And you've got a you know the way profile picture. I don't know who's uh I don't know who's worse. <laughs> Burst forth. <laughs> Burst forth. <laughs> so 
He literally can't do anything then. That's interesting. <laughs> God damn it! What happens if you use your ult and there's no E up? Does it just literally do nothing? It's just the first hit. Oh, I guess that exists. Still 500%, but it's not that great. That's like a child. That's a child range ult without, without vaping. So it's not that great. Yeah, I would definitely. Um, I would definitely tell. Mihoyo Everyone, to spam a moho, a spam mohoyo about this. Get us some extra primo gems. <laughs> yeah, this is really sad. <laughs> This is funny. Give us apologies. Hey KSL, thank you for the five dollars. Thank you for the five dollars. Zhong zero point five. It's that. I will at least say his damage seems to be better than Zhong's. Oh By yeah, no, it looks good really margin. good damage just based By a off pretty of good it. margin, like his yeah. damage is no. gonna be better than Zhong's by a pretty decent margin. Yeah, um, don't don't take anything as we're saying is like he does he's doing good damage. I just wish it was more consistent, but also eh. I mean like as long as it talk, averages out to two of them on the ult, that's decent. Real talk, like I apparently have two sixty one defense from substats. That's interesting. Okay, but I have two sixty one extra defense. Um none of my like my attack isn't part of my E damage. My crit damage is only at sixty two point four. And my crit rate's only at 32.4, and I got, like, a standard, you know, Geo Scroll bonus. Um, what? It's at 37.4. Oh, right. No, wait, crit damage? Oh, you mean crit no, rate, You sorry. said crit rate was 32, it's 37. No, whatever, same difference, but, like... Uh, well, no, because 5% crit's a huge fucking deal. <laughs> at 60% crit? That's, like, a 2% difference. One, 1 to 2% difference. But yeah, um, all right, but <laughs> I mean, it doesn't it doesn't matter is my point. It's not relevant to the discussion, but um, I did misquote it, but it doesn't really matter. Um, well, yeah, Tim, thank you for the five. Yeah, up, like this is purely defense scaling, and we're talking two k per hit with me basically running close to base stats. Other than like, I will say that his e output for cheap is looking pretty decent. For like we're a not, cheap we're not shitting on him. He no, we're like we're we're concerned about like RNG energy regen and RNG ult damage, but it's still really good damage. Well, it looks good. We still have to calc it. It might not actually it's, be that good when we actually calc it out, but it's better really than Zhongli out. for so far. Yeah, but Zhongli is not a high bar for damage. <laughs> At least it's better than Zhongli. <laughs> yeah, but Zhongli also provides you know, as as bad as I consider his shield, he does provide a shield. Like, Zhongli at least does provide a shield and a petrify. If his damage isn't better than Zhongli's, the only thing he has over Zhongli is his fucking A4. Like, he doesn't provide CC, he doesn't provide crowd control, he doesn't provide... Why do Albedo's Blossoms work on Fatui that. shields but not Abyssmate shields? Because uh, Fatui shields still take a portion of their damage. It's basically Fatui just shields damage reduction where Abyss really Mages are shield. just... The damage where reduction. Abyss Mages are yeah. just full. You have to deal damage in order for his E to trigger, and you don't deal damage when you're hitting a for two of a uh, abyss mage shield or a like cryo slime or geo slime shield. Um, but you do do damage against Fatui. It's just reduced because Fatui we call them Fatui shields, but technically they're damage resistance buffs that we shred by countering them. Okay, well let's give him like actually some stuff. Uh, we'll just run a fab sword on him. Sack's obviously useless on him, but he 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 apparently needs the ER because his energy gen isn't good enough from good enough to fund him without ER. Zhang Li in the top three geo. How do you figure? He's in the top five. Top three geo, but Noel and Geo MC and Ningle exist. <laughs> Yeah. You could make yeah. an argument that Zhongli like is more valuable than Noel because Noel is like forced to be a carry and even then she's Luke not super Lim, efficient thank you as for well. The five. Appreciate you. Thanks for testing. At least we know what the spam are. M Y M H Y. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well.
Anyway, now that we've really tested all that I need to test, let's actually, like, do some content clearing stuff. Let me run him with the team I was planning to run him with and just see how top it feels. Top three five-star Geo. Oh, okay, there you go. Oh, top three five-star Geo. <laughs> That's true. That's funny. All right, so I was planning on testing him with a reverse vape jungling team. Congrats on the D-Luke, Magus. Yeah, with... I mean... Yeah, even I at, hope like, his E is just a bug, honestly. I mean, they made... Zhang Li's is still... is Was gotcha and is still gotcha and hasn't been touched by the buffs, so I think... Wait, why is your... Is intentional. Why is your basic attack being scaled by a... Why is it level 2? Huh? I have child on my team. Child increases... You, you, what? You don't know what child's passive is? No, I um, don't because I don't own him. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, there you go. I'll be right back oh. though. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab some bread and some water real quick. Me. He's like, do you? Wait, you don't know what it does? Yeah, bitch, because I didn't roll on child. <laughs> Fuck that shit. <sighs> Do we know anybody with a Ning carry? Jinx has a Ning carry. One would think you'd look him up to see if you wanted to roll on him. I knew I didn't want him the second I saw him. It wasn't even a matter of looking him up. I just knew I wasn't going to roll for him. Am I also streaming on Twitch? No, I'm not. We're just letting Jinx stream for now. Oh. Dead. Bow light is a trap on Ning. I just saw someone mention Bolight and Ning, but. Hello? Two in there? Hello. Oh, okay, you're out there. Just making sure. Bolight is one of the worst sets you can run, Ning. They were like, um. Two piece Petra, two piece Vlad, two piece Petra, two piece Noblesse are both better. They were like, oh, one would think that you would at least look up Child's abilities to see if you wanted to roll on him. I'm like, I said, bitch, I already knew what he did. I didn't want to roll on him. <laughs> so he's a fucking bow user <laughs> rolling on his ass. Lol. What do you mean? He's dual blades, man. <laughs> fucking bow mains. Monster Hunter bow mains are trash mains. <laughs> Tell Faye I said it. <laughs> Okay, let's do the thing. We've done our testing. We have a decent understanding of all these mechanics. I'll crunch the math on this stuff later. You like heard me. All of you people heard me. If you if you made a ranged weapon in Monster Hunter, you a bitch. <laughs> you a bitch. <laughs> Fometo re. Like Say it to Fometo's face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to fucking. I'm trying to show some of these comments that got fucking held. I'm sorry. They're going too fast. Okay, longsword chill, bitch. I ain't played longsword. If you play longsword, you a bitch. Actually, if you play longsword, you are actually a bitch. If you're not playing hammer, if you're not playing hammer or sword and shield, you a bitch. <laughs> I play Switch Axe because I like pain. Okay, and Switch Axe. If you you got to have some balls to play Switch Axe. Yeah, you really do garbage. have to have balls to play Switch Axe. <laughs> I actually... Fucking Joe Cat. Joe Cat's so fucking trash at Monster Hunter, dude. I've played with his ass. He's so fucking bad. <laughs> He's a corner horner, but ass on ass. If you need any help, just call my name. If not, uh, I'll be reading a book. Over there. Mm-hmm. Thanks. 
And I have said it to his face. <laughs> Monster Hunter's gay play Barbie Island? Island Adventure like a real man? True that. <laughs> Thank you. I've heard so many stories about you. Always wanted an opportunity to research you up close. <laughs> what do you mean, research? Uh, sorry, don't mind me. What am I <sighs> saying? Still, you'd definitely be able to help Albedo. It is you, after all. There's that name Turner again. gonna get attacked Albedo. by Tectone again? Is I guess. Also <laughs> we don't even think he's bad. He's got good We don't think he's damages. bad, guys. I'm just, like, in disbelief he has two gacha mechanics. <laughs> Geo MC ending the best Geo duo in your opinion? I mean, I don't adhere to that, but... Thank you for um, the one night time bandit. I still think no Helen Geo MC. <laughs> Ning is, Even though I know I know Ning does more damage. Ning is better target, single target. Noel is yeah. AOE. So, um, yeah. honestly, I can't say yet because yeah, his his E is Gotcha energy gen, but it's still decent energy gen on average from what we've seen so far. Yeah. Like it's not top. It just... It's not one every two, so it's not top. It's not uh one every four, so it's not bad. It's somewhere in between, maybe average one every three. Uh, people are gonna. People in theory crafters I know are definitely going to be doing more thorough testing to figure out the average proc rate for it anyway, so... I'll try it with Noel yeah. if I have enough short cooldown... Packers on Short the cooldowns yeah. supports like a Kaya or something like that. It might equal out to... Like, to be clear again, enough. guys, his damage seems pretty good. I have to do full calcs on it, but his damage seems pretty good. The EM sharing on his A4 is fantastic. The only thing is, is that he's not, like... He's not a consistent battery, but in double Geo teams between uh, between him and Ning or him and Zhang or him and Geo MC, like he'll be getting enough energy for both of them. For double Geo, he could be very good, but I have to calc his damage and really take a look at him. His damage is a bit more complicated to calc than like other damages because he has defense scaling on his E, like pure defense scaling on his E, and he has attack scaling on his alt, so... It makes comparisons a little bit more complicated. I'll look into it tomorrow, though. Yeah. We ship Albedo and Sucrose. That's a, a highly problematic companionship right there. Yeah. Because Albedo is Her Sucrose's teacher. Her and mentor, uh, yeah. Yeah, mentor. That's a, that's a highly problematic ship there, my friend. Mm -hmm. We do not stand that. Teacher? <laughs> yes. He's dedicated himself to investigating the truth of this world. And has made many an important breakthrough. We often get alchemists coming to Mondstadt from all over Tavath, seeking his help. They say that the subtlest of guidance from Mr. Albedo helps him to solve the most unfathomable of problems. Are we testing Jean Albedo? Oh, <laughs> no. I didn't know he was such a big deal. That sounds like pain. Mm -hmm. That sounds like pain. I have like Ning. So, I have a C6 he's Ning. He's encountered a problem in his <clears> research recently. Every time I see him, he has a concerned look on his face. I'm sure that Albedo would love to hear about Why not use two-piece Gambo, two-piece Petra to fully capitalize on his E? That I'll could be a thing, but also it'd be really yeah, nice if he was just a good Petra support. Yeah. Honestly, I would probably say running him Petra. He's the only off-field Petra support so far. Wait, well, no, never mind. He has to pick up the Crystallize for Petra, so that doesn't even matter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, should you risk soft pity for C1 Bennett? C1 Bennett is a five star. <laughs> C1 Bennett is a five star C1. <laughs> yeah. C1 Bennett is a five star. So you're still getting C0 five star Bennett is a five star. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. G Albedo as a Geo support is not able to beat break Geo shields at fucking all. And it's so. Well, he can, sad. but it's tap E every four seconds. That's so bad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but Paimon doesn't need any help in that department. But if Albedo wants to pay Paimon back for helping him, a few more of my settlements. Five C six Bennett, am I completely wrecked? Oh, I mean, you have to completely change comps now. Uh, he um, basically works really good at a mono fire team instead of like a melt team or anything like that. Well, not a mono fire team, but he has to be in a pyro focused team. Yeah, like a Bennett Shangling, then like a veneer Bennett. And 
Though I suppose if you wanted to, you could Sorry. instead of Chong. Bennett, well, the thing is, like, like Kaya Bennett. So like the so like the yeah like the interesting well the his the interesting thing about Bennett is he enables other characters to be pyro carries at C6. Um, a comp that like Charlie likes to run for fun and Tony has been running because he recently enabled the C6 mm -hmm. is using Kaya charge attack carry <laughs> with fucking uh, Bennett support and just melting his own damage with his ult. <laughs> But the reality is, is that Bennett, pretty, C6 Bennett pretty much forces the team he's in to be a pyro-focused team. Unless you're running a pure quick swamp without basic attacks team. Mm -hmm. Which at that point... What is, uh, what does Bennett's C6 do besides just convert to pyro? Is there 50% anything... extra pyro damage when standing inside of his ult. Yeah, there you go. It's a good buff, and like... If, when you're talking about, like, specifically Bennett carry, C6 Bennett with a Jingcho Vaporize is better than not C6 Bennett with a Chongyun Melt. It's better mm -hmm. overall output because you get a lot more actual, vapor, like, reaction procs compared to the Melt comp because mm -hmm. you're procking a lot more Pyro and a lot more Hydra. The issue is, is, like, if you wanted to use him, say, as the healer for a... Razor team, you're fucked. Razor team, <laughs> you're fucked. Yeah. If, or if you wanted to use him as the healer for a... Cryo I team. Yeah, I don't know, cryo team. Perma, like, yeah, if you wanted to use him as the healer for that perma freeze. Um, though I guess I don't know. Did, did we confirm whether or not Bennett C6 overrid Chongyun's E? Like Makes sense 90, that it would. Like it's an ult. Sure it does. What could it be? I'm like 90% sure it does, but I don't know if I've seen anything directly testing it. Oh, that's Charlie. Or, oh, that's Tony or Charlie. They both have C6 Bennett, so... Hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go test the comp. Let's go uh, test beta the comp. tester. I'm I'm a hundred percent sure that I'm I'm almost a hundred percent sure that Ganyu's ult is gonna work the same or a similar way that uh Albedo's ult is currently Ooh. working. It just makes the most sense that if they're going to create something like that, it's probably going to be used more than one time. Stack Albedo and Sucrose EM, you also you also lose the ability to run a double element team that, for that, though. And there's not a lot of units in the game that are good at self-funding their own alts that strongly. Which means... Yeah, sorry, Chalux. I've been up really late. It's really late for me. So I'm kind of tired. I'm not trying to sound condescending. I'm just... Yeah, Here. Tuner is tired. You don't have to stay up though. Feel free to hop off if you need to, because at this point I'm just going to be doing like story stuff and clearing and kind of testing comps with him. Yeah. You need your booty sleep. I have sleep issues and won't be going to sleep for a few hours anyway, so I might as well do a little bit more, but... Mm -hmm. Ooh, a chest! Oh, you know what the shitty part is though? <laughs> ben and Alt's not gonna make Albedo hit harder on his E. Moments of birth. Burst forth. Hey, a snapshot of that, right? Okay. The EM sharing is definitely nice on this, but yeah, EM sharing is definitely nice. I mean, I'm. Hmm. Is that jungling running again? That's interesting. I normally hit I normally hit 10k for a uh for a vape crit. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Oh, I didn't guab off. I didn't have guab off debuff up. That's why. So yeah, it is improved. That's not the right button. <laughs> yeah. No, that that makes sense. I didn't have guab off debuff up. Okay. You mentioned that at a certain point, Black Sword is better than Equivocal Goni on Bennett. What oh, I was wrong, but <laughs> it turns out like Kaching mains has changed their mind about that because Aquila Favoni is just basically a fucking stat stick. Like the base attack, it basically carries it. Um, even though the sub stat is bad, 48 base attack versus 42 is just such a big difference that it's that yeah, Aquila Favoni is still good. Not only the base attack on the weapon, but also the extra damage you get from the ult, right? Just kind of carries it over. Aw, oh, I'm a Yui up. 
I mean, honestly, like... With investments, I have concerns about how well Albedo scales. Like, I mean, I'm running him at plus 16, and at a plus 16 level, he's actually performing pretty well DPS-wise. I have concerns that when you're starting, like, plus 20, like, high refinement weapons and stuff, his E is going to be falling off because it doesn't scale with your attack. Mm -hmm. So, like, if I were running, like, you know... If I was running like in the Cool of Favonia with him or something, his E wouldn't be getting any better. And at that kind of a power level, 2k crits every 2 seconds aren't very good. But at like this power level, they're decent. So, I'm a bit concerned about his like, ender game investment scaling. But as like a relatively cheap base damage support, he's not looking bad right now. Now, what if we got a... Someday I'm sure we'll get like a defense scaling. Um sword yeah but, in which case um, that might be nice i mean if we had a white blind but for long swords that'd be great yeah, on him god i wish we had a white blind but for uh... yeah like white blind for long swords would be great on him and like the new festering desire sword will also be good on him because his e output is pretty good um but that being said the split defense to attack thing is gonna hurt him in higher investments is my concern mm -hmm. But at a base, considering that he's close to base level uh, value for me, right? Like, it's not bad. It's what not worth... It's really not worth pulling Bennett like past C1 unless you can somehow guarantee you're going to get to C5 because that adds an extra three points to your ult, which is super, super nice, actually. Yep, pretty much. But, but then, but like, that's telling you to try to pull for an additional four more Bennett's. I mean, C1. C3 is not bad if you use it because it's just extra yeah, damage the e. on this key. But yeah. C3 and 5 are bet nice because they're just extra damage slash buffing and healing. Uh, C4, I'm not really sold as good, but I have to look into it more. Um, C2 is okay, I guess. It's nice, it's just Jinx, realistically. A, What's up? Are you using a defense on your sands or are you using energy regen? Hmm? Attack. Attack. I wonder if going for a defense would be better. For his E damage, yeah, because his E doesn't even scale with attack, period. But his ults, even with two, even with two, like, two blossom hits per ult, that's still good damage. 800% base is good, so. Yeah. Like, that's still good damage on his ult, even without, like, multiple hits. <laughs> I am also kind of glad you can get, like, six or seven hits on a single target, because, I'll be honest, that's way too much. <laughs> it's way too much damage. <laughs> It's yeah. a um, very unbalanced broken. level of damage, so. That would be broken. Yeah. His echo, his ease echo is not bad. It's just. Christ, having to invest in two damage stats for him is a bit sus. I, I really wonder if he might just want to be like a more crit heavy character because at least both scale with crit. Crit and Geo percent. Yeah. No time to yeah, I'll get the fucking treasure chest no later. I'll just get closer. It seems like that, that, uh... Yeah, yeah. That sword was kind of made for him then, wasn't it? What, the Festering Desire? The Festering Desire. I mean... You get some ER to help with his yeah. energy issues. You get some crit on his E. His so E isn't you... bad, like... Yeah. Stop teleporting! Let me do my thing on you! Yeah, C4 DPS Sucros is a meme. It's, it's I mean, it's meme. funny, though. It's, it's a funny build. <laughs> Swirl Sucros is funny. I, I like it, but it's not very... I don't... I'm not really sold it's good. I haven't really looked into DPS calcs for it, but it's... Swirl isn't that... Swirl is not a very high damage Venti, reaction. Frequency is what makes it good for, like, Venti, specifically. He's funny, though. Ooh, a chef! <gasps> Give me recipes! These are recipes. One sec. Close this. Open up this. Cool. All right. Oh, I should probably close Premiere at this point. We've gotten the info we need to. I can do calcs off of this. Mm-hmm. 
Oh man, we're like fucking what? Two and a half hours into the stream and I'm now just getting to the actual quest. <laughs> but, you know, testing stream, so. Man, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. I've got my C6, uh, C6 Sucrose. I got like, C1 I'll be Bennett. honest. I'm not... You can test it with Noel to see how good he bats Noel, but I'll be honest, I don't think he's going to be better with Noel than GOMC. I do think him and Ning have potential as a comp, though. Yeah. Like, him and Ning definitely have poten decent potential as a comp. Um. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, really? Right here, you say? Mark that down. For my artifacts. Right. Wait, what do you give me? Wait, what the fuck is this? Gave you a hat. For those wondering why I have so much shit, it's because I was- I- I saved- I- I farmed up with what resin I could. Oh, neat! Crit damage? Alright, it's four, but I'll save it. Alright, alright. Um... Is Sucrose better than Nemo MC? Depends on the comp. They have different utility. They fit- they feel- they do different things. But yeah, I have all this shit because I was farming up fuel for the new sets so I could get them leveled up sooner rather than later for testing. Yeah, I should have done that. Yeah, with what, e with what I could spare, I still had to farm up stuff for Albedo and everything, so. Uh, Prototype Rancor doesn't have defense scaling on its passive, uh, the substat on it. No, it's passive it has, does. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's it's substat. It's main stat. There you go. That one. Yeah. It does on this passive though, but you have to auto attack for that, yep. so. Yeah. They're saying it's the same as white blind. It's, it's, it's not the same. It doesn't No, have white blind has stat. a yeah, defense substat, which is much nicer. <laughs> Neat. So, gotta be careful about the ice, of course. Sub zero thing we read about. <laughs> Ooh, free shit. Give me free shit. Uh, Venox, yeah, if you're gonna run Aquila Favoni on Albedo, I mean, if you're running him as your main carry, then sure. It's not even a matter of running him as a main carry, it's just a stat stick. Like, a, like, a lot of, uh, a lot of the more endgame, not quite whales, but, like, dolphin players, uh, I know from various theory crafting discords, they just use Aquila Favoni on supports, because when you have plus 16 sets and you can run an ER sands on units and have substats, you don't necessarily need an ER sword anymore on a lot of units, so Aquila Favoni is just a fucking stat stick. <laughs> Even if you don't get the passive, like, for type 48 base plus 20% attack from its passive is just a stat stick for most supports to just do more damage. <laughs> Oh, she's the branch manager's sister. Neat. Well, uh, which support is better on D Luke, Kaya, Ching, Chong Yun, or Jing Cho? You don't want to use Chong Yun on D Luke because with his A4, he should basically always be in his ult, and Chong Yun can't do anything for D Luke. Yep. He become Chong Yun only has synergy with the Luke when you're playing the Luke poorly. So Kaya and Jing uh, Cho, either one or both, which would be feel like. Yep, Kaya Keep in mind tends that to... you have this weird thing where you're like shattering sometimes, and then you're 
not melting, but yeah. Well, the thing is with Kaya specifically too, like Deluke is melting Kaya's damage, not the other way around. The only thing Kaya can kind of melt for Deluke is like his ult. If Kaya's ult is active can sometimes be melted, but generally speaking, he's melting Kaya's damage because Kaya's ult actually has a pretty high internal cooldown on its cryo application. Mm -hmm. uh, Kaya testing will be on my Twitch tomorrow. Yeah, go watch Tuna to do that tomorrow because I'm not going to be testing the cryo comps just yet. I'm, I, I'm, I'm more interested in testing out Obedo in a lot of different comps first. Energy is consistent too. What are you doing, Gregory? Like, I'm not being sarcastic. What are you doing? Yeah, like, how are you making it consistent? consistent? Like, yeah, genuinely, how are you making it consistent? We tested it for about 20, 30 minutes and did not see any consistency out of it. Off we go. It's entirely uh, possible. 90 pulls is the 90 pulls is the pity. But generally, people get 70, 80 is the average pull, yeah, area, yeah. range. But. For DPS Bennett, which is the better weapon for him, Aquila Favonia or Black Sword? Aquila Favonia. Aquila Favonia is just a stat stick. Cause big damage. Yeah, even though it's secondary passive, or oh, it's a sub stat, is useless, like. Type 48's a lot. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's not useless on a non, like, Chong Yun comp. True. If you're running, like, Bennett, Jianling, with a Sucrose and a Jing Cho, then you do get use out of it. There's no way he break the promise. Oh, Poor boy. Poor boy. Boy! Ooh, hello, what's this? Ooh, what's this? We have Snow. Well, uh, this? Oh shit! <laughs> Sister Rosaria. Oh look, so here you are. It's Quirk the lady. To... I've told you already. I don't go in for that. Oh, but this event has commemorative significance. The church hopes that all sisters will be present. Booba. <laughs> it's the uh, priestess of uh, Slanesh. Yep. Description. Slan <laughs> the uh, Slanesh nun. Well, I mean, yeah, it's sure, a Slanesh but... nun. But what? Why is she even more attractive to me now that I see that she has bags under her eyes? The least bit odd? Uh, because that's who you are. You True. This far out from Mondstadt at this hour? I mean, even she's pretty much your aesthetic. Now, red and black. True. I would wear that. Long, long nail thing, claw yes. things. Maybe this fishnets. Is grand plan to make a fool out of you. Big is titty golf, Is that the candy. delusion? What the fuck is that on her like waist? <laughs> Evidence decides what mm. people are like, not your feelings. <sighs> High heels, you're a little boots. Too trusting of other yeah, that's pretty much your aesthetic. Yeah, I'd wear that. Nobody's gonna blame you if you go Thigh bands. I can't imagine anyone else was delusional. She just needs a choker. Gonna show up. But if you dally any longer, you really won't make it. Oh yeah, and she's got short hair. You're right. It's like all chopped up it's and a shit. Very important commemorative event. If I'm late, then. Right. Don't freeze yourself, handle. Barbara. <laughs> Like that nun's an expert in making God ban you for I listen. Okay, got you. <laughs> I thought I heard something. Who are you and why are you eavesdropping? We better watch out. She seems like a dangerous villain. Or a trickster at best. Oh, really? I'm a member of the long-standing Favonius Church. You're an eavesdropping pixie from who knows where. And you think I'm the trickster? Wait, she heard that? Paimon was whispering so quietly. Rosario's kind of I coming off like a cunt right now, but I kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what? It works for you when it's a woman, but when it's Kaya, you hate it? Kaya doesn't come off as a cunt. He comes off as a cocky ass who thinks he's better than everyone. I won't press you on your reasons for eavesdropping. Otherwise, depending on your answer, I could See, the thing is, Ka the, the thing that bothers me about Kaya is the fact that he comes off as like the I'm the cool guy. Look at how cool I am. We're turning a blind eye to hidden dangers, can we? Why shouldn't sisters have a sense of justice? Hmm. That doesn't sound right. But Paimon... So... Let's uh, talk come. about you. <laughs> what are you doing in the mountains? But you're only a traveler. 
I doubt you have any great skill in alchemy. Whatever. Oof. I had a notion of who you were seeking. If it's him you're after, I made a point of noting his tracks. Many people have made their way up after the snowstorm. Let's hope they're still there. So, are you also looking for him? No, this is just a professional habit of mine. She's more a thicker than Lisa. I don't think she test. is. She probably Never isn't. Because that would imply that they created a new model specifically for Rosaria, which I highly doubt. Well, more... Well, it probably not too hard. They wouldn't have to create necessarily a new model. They just have to adjust some things. But yeah, but like if you it's not if like you it's a new skeleton over, or something. Well, if you swap over other characters, they their bodies are literally the same. They just have different yeah. things on them. Yeah, but I mean for sure, like the outfit is highlighting her thighs a lot more than Lisa's does. So it definitely. So even if it is the same, it's going to look thicker because of her outfit. I couldn't care what you think. Come on then. I'd like to see what he's up to anyway. I like her. You lost, guys. No Nut November is over. You're not losing. <laughs> Ooh, a treasure hey, holder. Danny. Hey, Danny. Danny. You should sleep. It's midnight for you, bud. Body shaming. I'm not body shaming. <laughs> You have two week vacation, it's mid afternoon now. Well <clears throat> Danny, would you rather see would you rather see God of War or would you rather see Doom Eternal? Ooh, a chest. No time to lose. No time to lose. Ah, why did I climb? No, I can't see anything. There's shit everywhere. Both you think, but God of War is very story based. Okay, I'll try to stream some God of War for you. Rue wants to see it too. And he deserves it. He's a good boy. Rue is a good boy. Now I got stomach cramps. <clears throat> yeah? In terms of just like base DPS gains right now, I'm liking Albedo. Yeah. Overall. Hey, solid right. DB. Hello. Sloop Mage is over Singapore. there. But first we go do here because there's questing here. And probably a shrine somewhere for me to get more map. You like how shaky the screen is for battle? That's just Jinx shaking the camera. Yeah, it's a weird thing I do. Yeah, C4 Bennett, C2 Fischl pulled five times for secrets, got her at C1 and a full cons Bennett. C4 nice. Fischl. Did I fuck up? Any thoughts? Um, did you activate C6 Bennett? Yeah, that's more the question of if you screwed up or not. Because, like, C6 Bennett is good, it just limits his comps. He loses his flexibility, but in exchange he gets, uh, in exchange he gets more powerful pyro teams. But he kind of gets wait, locked into pyro teams. Wait, wait, cryo barrels? How the fuck does that work, game? They, Yo, it's exploding still cryo some slimes. snow? It, yeah. Exploding cryo slimes. There's cryo slimes in them. Oh, right, there are, there are fucking slimes in the barrels. I forgot about that. Yeah. You can Imagine see the little faces. Imagine a geo barrel. <laughs> Keck. It's just a rock. The rock. Moments of birth. The environment. Wait, the environment procs Albedo's E. What? So could you put enemies on a burning field? Ooh, let's find out. I need to find some grass. <laughs> You need to find some enemies by some grass. 
Wouldn't a geo barrel just be a grenade? Yeah, it'd basically be a shrap shrap shrapnel grenade. grenade. <laughs> that was just a rock. <laughs> no, that's that's actually that's exactly what a the the explosion actually isn't what hurts you that much in a uh, grenade. It's the shrapnel being shoved through your body. <laughs> True. The force is not that pow is not that strong. Yeah, in fact, um, I, I believe MythBusters tested it. It's actually totally possible that if you jump onto a grenade, that like. You can absorb the shrapnel and save the people around you. Yeah. Yeah, the classic, like, hero maneuver. Yeah. And then, like, if you're on the ground, uh, it's also safer. It's so, like, if you just get onto the ground as soon as you can, like, the shrapnel kind of goes in an upward-ish direction. Yeah. Oh, is this reduce? Oh, this thing reduces the amount I'm taking. Your ability to appear and disappear at will is very interesting. I was gonna say, is he at least a good? So like, hold on, wait, hit a rock. Does it proc yeah. you? Oh, sorry, am I streaming to you still? Yes. Okay. No, I mean, like, if you attack a rock with your sword, does it damage it with the geo proc? Oh, it did not earlier when I tried it. Uh, okay. I can test again in case I fucked it up somehow, but it did not earlier when I was trying it. Ooh. So he might be uh, decent for breaking rocks. Hey, I mean, to be fair, though, there is no pickaxe in the game better than Zhongli. See, I disagree with that, because his E has such a long time that if there's, like, multiple piles of rocks nearby... Yeah, but you can also just, you can also just pop regular E's onto those to break them, and then when there's only a group left large enough that his, his whole E can cover it, which is... Pretty much most groups of rocks, because it has the longest range for a pickaxe, you then just do a chargey. You don't Jinx, stop you the you literally chargey. left something on the ground, you fuck. What? Go back under the bridge, you fuck. What? You left something on the ground! What, this? Oh, yeah, it's a treasure hunter sigil. No, From earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you left it on the ground. <laughs> yeah. I've got a lot of them. <laughs> it was out of the way. That's like saying there was a dollar on the ground and you didn't pick it up. Is this giving me one? Wait, does this thing just respawn? Huh. Interesting. Warm me up. Warm me up inside. <laughs> Sleepy Tuner has better... <laughs> no, you need to understand. Jinx is like the worst person to spot something different in his environment. In, in his environment. Oh, this doesn't give when you we played items. Apex Call of Quartz when is we just... Played... Okay, I see, I see. When we played Apex Legends together, he'd run through a door and an enemy would be looking at him in the corner and like you could Come see the me. enemy if you were spectating him well, and he would just run straight through. Yep. He wouldn't even turn around. He's a papega. I'm a bit of a papega. I have really bad awareness in those kinds of games. Come to be. Although in games like Valorant, it wasn't really as bad because... Oh, oh, give me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You ain't getting away. You ain't getting away. Wait, what am I doing? I have an elevator. <laughs> I forgot I have an elevator. I could have just done that. Uh, in games like Valorant, it's not as bad, though, because in Valorant, it's less about necessarily the awareness and more about knowing what the corners are and how and predicting how people play and whatnot, so I can at least make it's up for some old. game knowledge. No, but. Jinx is younger than me. It's like... Jinx is younger than me. He just doesn't play video games. He's not a gamer. Lol, I have boomer hands. Like, I may be older than you, Tuner, but I've also probably aged my body much more than yours has, honestly. Oh boy. I can actually break your shield because it's not a real shield, motherfucker. Jinx is not really fond of Ning as a main DPS. That is not true. I'm not- I, I like Ning a lot. I do think she's a better burst- I think she's like Beidou, where she's better as a burst support than a main DPS or a carry. Uh, because like, her burst output with her- Her burst output with her E and her Q are incredibly potent. Um, especially if you have C6 and you can do a charge- you can do a 7 star J charge afterwards. Her- Her auto charge rotations aren't as good. There are better options to do like basic spams than Ning. Um, but I think she's very good. She's by, she is, in my opinion, the best Geo unit we have until I'm, 
until I can really calc Albedo's strength, I consider her the best Geo unit in the game because she fulfills that role that Geo should fulfill, which is just a fuck ton of base damage and a good Petra support. Ning single target nuke is fucking stupid. <laughs> Do we have but any it's Noelle also just base damage here? nuke. You can't do reaction damage with it, so... Sorry, what? Do we have any Noel simps in here? Any Noel simps in the chat? Any Noel simps in the chat? What was the point and of this? Vertical Turtle, thank you for the five. I don't know if that was ever called out. It's getting colder and colder. Rosaria, aren't you freezing? Who's this? Ooh, Fire Seedly. <laughs> I'm alright. I got used to operating in adverse conditions a lot. What was the point of that? Any Noel simps? Like more to being a nun well, I just want to say, uh, if you guys like Noel, if you guys like Noel, <laughs> uh, we happen to have new Noel emotes on the Twitch channel that you can throw a, a prime at or something. Yeah, yeah. Where we go, Jinx, Sealy? You you want to you want to quickly show them off real quick just to, so we can do our, our advertising for the day. Well, sure, just send it to me in the uh, Discord. I don't have them saved on my computer. Here is uh, the first one. One sec. Nah, I I pressed four game. Oh oh, it's one of those things. Who is this? All right, one sec. Uh, but. It's not shameless. It's, it's our shameless. channel. It's <laughs> We're our shilling channel. ourselves. So yeah, if you guys like uh, Noel emotes and you're a Twitch person, you like uh, you like using Noel emotes on Twitch. They're pretty choice. Pretty choice. We have a uh, thirty of them for tier one. It's pretty good. I sent uh, sent you the other one too. Yeah, I'm opening up. Noel emotes. So yeah. If you want to help support the channel and you really like Noel, or you just like giving cool us up. Twitch emotes in general, yeah. consider just subbing. Close this. We'd really appreciate it. Supporting the Twitch channel supports the YouTube channel. We share our revenue, so super awesome. Who's the artist? Uh, I have a couple. But uh, Digi Cherry is the one for the Noel artist, uh, the Noel emotes, except for um, Padoru. Padoru, Padoru, Padoru. What's this? What's this? And I see. It, it's, oh, it's one a warming of the things. Thing. Yeah, it's a warming thing. Ooh, a chest. Ooh, a piece of candy. Tell me to do a thing job. to kill. I will. Yeah. Forth. yeah. <laughs> I, uh. The reason why I'm shilling so hard is because getting, like, 40 emotes is not oh, cheap. No. I, I enjoy I enjoy paying people for their work, so. True. I'm trying to, but I am trying to read. of the arts. I am trying to uh, recoup the money. So <laughs> any subs does help a lot. I really do appreciate it because it, it it was Adventure expensive. <laughs> Yo, it was an investment. Yes, it's, but you would it's like dividends on that investment. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Let me think. I need two hundred <gasps> subs in order to go net neutral. <laughs> To break even, yeah. Yeah, to break even. <laughs> Two hundred subs. Who's next? Oh god, I keep accidentally getting lifted up by the forklift. All right, well, I should probably stop exploring and actually just focus on progression right now because so I you do here, need to so build this resume. So you're new here, so Jinx streams on YouTube and Twitch streams on Twitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On Twitch. And you can remember, uh, me streaming on YouTube is a. Uh, it's a Not very uncommon thing. Very uncommon thing. The last time I streamed was when Zhongli dropped, so... Oh, <laughs> I'm not yeah, much yeah. of a streamer. Uh, Jinx, do you see the... Ooh, this is a mage. Do we see the, the sheer cold thing? Like, is there... Yeah, this is a there's a meteorite over your HP. 
Oh, okay. Well, what I was gonna say is, does standing in fire Burst forth. work? Uh. Out of the frying pan. I can't even set the grass on fire. <laughs> it's too cold. The fire's too cold. Cry. Although there's a lot of these stops, all these scarlet jade things around, which you can just pick up to reduce your stuff. Ooh, pretty. Touch her butt, Jinx. Oh, she can make a cryo shield. Wait, where'd you go? Oh shit, there she is. Brace yourself. This is gonna hurt. Hey, Joseph. Uh, do I want to get a soda for tomorrow morning, or do I want to get it in the morning? Mm, up to you. Uh, Star Silver, what is this crystal thing that's getting going? Is it just like a... Is it just like a... Ascension mat? Are we done testing Albedo? Uh, I mean, this is kind of a live test, a practical test, honestly. Oh, these are events. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I'm just progressing because I do need to get to the domain today. I do need to get to the domain today so I can uh, burn my resin on farming up the new set because I do want to burn a lot of resin on the new sets. And also, I'm just kind of doing practical tests of Albedo right now. At this point, it's pretty clear how he functions in this comp. He's not eating reactions, which was my concern with this comp. So we can yeah. actually probably stop running testing this one now. Uh, let's see double Geo. Understood. Shit, he has Ning set though. Uh, I probably don't need to run Petra on him on this team. <laughs> Disappointment, sorry. I'm sorry. I rounded up. You're right. It was 27, not 30. I scammed you. <laughs> I don't have two Geo Cups, do I? I don't have two Geo Cups, but. Something, 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 something. Hey! <laughs> paddle doo, paddle doo, paddle, paddle doo. Unsubbed, unfollowed. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit, do I just level that one up? Angry no all noises. We'll never forgive you for the gas and banish that you monster. Recon, oh, I'm sorry, you, Recon, I don't... <laughs> I don't have enough... Sub, I don't have enough sub slots for... To have, um... Gasm. Obviously, that means you need more subs so you can get the sub slots for Gasm. <laughs> yeah. And the problem is, is I would need, like, 900 more. Oh, wow. Yeah. Crit rate, yeah. attack, EM. In order to get attack, one, attack. in order to get one more. Oh, this does have defense on it. In order right, to get one, one more, I need 700 more subs. And then I could move one emote into the tier three, or er, into the tier one. Ooh, 2x, lucky. Streamer luck. Well, okay, this is obviously a fucking, this is obviously meant to go on uh, <laughs> Albedo. <laughs> I can put a little bit of my fuel on this. I've got a lot of fragiles available for the Hydro and Cryo set. I can also chill a bit on the Cryo set. <laughs> Pun. Because you'll be doing more of the Cryo set testing anyway. You should really cool it with these puns. <laughs> Get your head in the game. Keep frosty. <laughs> Keep your cool tuner. I just realized I'll admit, I have music I'll playing. admit, I'll admit, it was a pretty ice pun. <laughs> we should probably chill on it, though. Well, as long as they don't cry about it. <laughs> oh, you mean chats. Yeah. As long as chat doesn't cry about it. <laughs> gonna need two Geo Cups anyway, because I'm gonna be running one on each team in Abyss, probably. 
And I'm kind of hoping that Ning Albedo is good because it'll be fun to run. Fucking hell. And it rolls attack. All right. No crit sub stats, but that's fine. Real quick, one sec, let me fucking turn the music on. I always forget because I turn my music off because I always keep this like alt, like tabbed out when I'm like record when I'm recording or doing other stuff, right? So I can access info if I need it or testing real quick. Aw, this is nice music. I like it. Let's turn yeah. it up. We'd like to lift your guys' spirits about Alberto though. True. His damage is very high. Yeah, his damage is definitely good. Is it like four star burst support good? Jinx. I'm still in the calc, but Jinx, we're up, we're uplifting chat. True. And telling them his damage <laughs> is high. I I, I heard. <laughs> Was I reaching again with those puns? <laughs> A little bit. Blah 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 blah. Don't care. All right. Um. I never finished my sets. You're right. They weren't good enough. I need to take them to the next level. <laughs> okay. She's doing two glads. I need this. Thank you, Albedo. And then I need this. Thank you, Albedo. And Albedo gets to run. What do we go for on him? No bless. I'm liking his alt damage. Let's go for no bless. Could run gamblers though. Is gamblers worth it? Hmm. He's got. He's gonna have so much alt spam though. I think I really should be going for alt damage. Let's go for no bless for now. It's what I got. I'd rather run a full Petra on him really, but for now we'll just run no bless. Pog two piece no bless two piece glam gamblers. Two-piece no bless, two-piece gamblers? Nah, that's not worth it. Petra's still better than either of them because it applies to his E and his Q. It's 15% versus 20%, but it's the same part of the formula. It's a better game to have the two-piece Petra. Uh, the question is, what do you run for the other two-piece, or do you go for a four Petra? Okay, he definitely doesn't need a Fav Sword now because I have a Ning, so... We'll run Flute for more damage. And running with Sith on her. Alright, neat. All right, so what do we want to run for this? Hmm. Hmm. Who do we run as our last units? I'm going to run Bennett, obviously, but... <sighs> if I get one sub on Twitch, I'll stop doing puns. <laughs> I'm, I'm currently looking up ice puns. <laughs> Fantastic. He does so share I am, I am definitely I am definitely holding you guys hostage. So either I run a Bennett carry melt or I go for vape wombo swap. Let's go for vape wombo swap. That honestly sounds more fun. So switch out hunt for stringless. Um, I probably need to change my helmet. Oh god, that crit rate is not good. Just gifted a sub. God damn it, Dave. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Unless this has better. E uh... Eh, eh, this is good. All right, fine. <laughs> oh, but it loses so much crit damage. Danny doesn't want to hear my shit. I see. Ice, ice, e. Yeah, still better. <laughs> Let's do this. Ice, e. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Adventure time. Welcome to what Sleepy Tuner looks like, everyone. Give up. What am I doing? I keep getting distracted by all the shinies, and I need to fucking progress because I need to hit the domain tonight. Ah! Danny, I'm sorry that one was an accident. <laughs> it was 100% an accident. Lol. Oh yeah, since people were mentioning Ning carry earlier, I guess just to quickly cover it. So, Ning does have animation cancels. Ning was kind of Klee before Klee was Klee. Um, and you will, if you do want to run her as a carry, you kind of really need to learn her animation cancels because it is a significant output difference. So, got, got, really, come, Ning, Ning, Ning. I believe in you. There we go. So, okay, real quick, your normal combo, right? One, two, three, charge attack. 
Ning walk Ning can walk cancel, so to make her autos faster. So we do like one, two, three. You can see how slow these are coming out, right? Now if we walk cancel it instead. See how much faster that is? I'm not very good at it, so you can get even faster than this, but see how much faster this is coming out. Then what you can do is you can go one, two, hold last inputs. I messed it up. One, two, one. Damn it. I'm I'm bad at this one. I don't really play carry Ning, but one, two. Nope. One, two. One, two. I'm messing it up. You can you can animation cancel your last hit into a charge. There we go. Into a charge like that. And it's faster than doing a normal charge input. Uh, where you do two wall cancels into a third wall cancel and the charge. I'm fucking it up. I don't play Ning much. I just am aware of it. Yeah, there we go. Like that. You see how much faster that is compared to doing like a normal into a charge? So you can save a lot of animation time on carrying Ning by learning that, learning how to do this wall cancel. I'm just holding W and pressing at the right time. And it's coming out much faster because of that. She's a walk cancel unit. And then, you know, you can... If you time it right, you can cancel. Bup, bup, bup. I'm messing it up. But you, if you play around with it, you'll get a better feel for it. Like I said, I don't play carry Ning much. I'm just aware of the cancels. Um, also, whenever you E, you can also all just do a E like that. Adds like a, only adds like 10 frames or something to the combo, but you get an extra auto's worth of damage in it. So every I'm time you E, you can auto E. I'm watching it now, Danny. <laughs> but yeah, ju just for those of you who are... who are curious about running carry Ning, if you want to run carry Ning, you need to learn these cancels because even with these cancels, there's still better carry options, but without them, she's much worse. Um, she is definitely like A tier, maybe a little S tier. I'd say the A tier carry, honestly. Um, but like, if you learn these cancels, that's only when you learn these cancels. If you don't learn them, she's not, her DPS is much worse. Uh, so I'm looking at this video, and basically it's just Albedo and John Lee throwing up their pillars and doing resonation damage. Um, I mean, his resonance damage is really bad, but sure. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I was gonna say, it's got some, like, God damn, she is popping your shield funneling, fast. You're funneling Jean Lee's ult off cooldown, so I mean, CC, but I know. If Jean Lee's not ulting off cooldown, you need to change his build or your comp, but yeah. Yeah. I know. Um, what I was gonna say is the video take like the the full four ruin or kill takes like over a minute and a half, or oh, a minute really? and a half, which is like slower than what my Noel does with a free shatter comp. That's slower than me solo Benetting, Bennett yeah, killing, like just yeah. just Bennett. Wait, which ruiner? The four ruiner. Oh, the four ruiners. Yeah. Yeah, that's minute thirty for four is pretty slow unless you get unlucky with this with the spin attacks. Yeah. Eh. Lee's the one holding back that comp. Though. Oh, Gregory, <laughs> Gregory, yes, apparently, wise. Gregory was the person who said that they got consistent. They they retest and apparently it's not consistent. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, I I was hoping I was hoping there was something we missed with that, but so yeah, far no, we're, we're always hoping that there's something we miss it's like same thing with john lee yeah. we were just hoping that there was something we missed but no his his energy is just gotcha because reasons uh, i don't know oh hello big boy how you doing oh, shit Charge attack Ning! Christ. What what are you trying to do? Trying to charge attack. She didn't charge attack. I'm still getting used to playing Ning again. I haven't used her in like a month. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I guess I, I guess what I was wondering was why you didn't bend it all into child ult. Uh, I was trying to vape his ult first for some reason. But then I remember that you can't do that, micro. Shit. I need to not talk. I'm, I can't play if I'm talking. Jinx has one, one brain, brain cell. cell. It's a really, really, really good brain cell. But it is a one brain cell. He has like... Imagine the world's best single core processor. 
That's his brain. Yeah. Also, just, just to point out, part of the reason why I'm kind of so hard on Zhongli is because Ning's a four-star and exists, and you can see how much more she outputs compared to him. Like, as a, as a base damage Geo support, if I was running her as a Petra support, she isn't losing much damage compared to the build she's running right now. Like, it, 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 it's just hard to justify Zhongli when his shield doesn't feel like it's strong enough and Ning just does so much more than he does for the team DPS-wise. Torax and anybody else who's listening. And I'm playing her badly. Um, <laughs> Alberto is is very nice. He has really good uh, damage on his E and on his ult. Um, it seems it's that way. So how far, many? But... Yeah, it's inconsistent how much it's hitting. You can't really assume more it, than the two minimum to three. amount that. Yeah, I was gonna say the minimum amount that it is hitting so far. Like if we're just taking an average, is pretty good. So. Yep. Um, Damn it, my but the real good. thing about it is, is like, if you're scared to pull for Zhang Li, but you want Bennett, I would just want to, I can't stress enough how good Bennett is. The only like, banner five star we've had that is arguably as consistently powerful as Bennett is Venti and Klee. Like, that's how strong he is. I would rate Bennett more important and more powerful than Child than Albedo and then and Zhong Li. And he's honestly probably around Klee level. Klee is just, you know, a carry, but if you have strong carries, Bennett's more valuable. If you already have a Deluke and a Razor or a Kaching or whatever, like Bennett's more valuable than a Klee is. Venti's the only banner five star so far that is more valuable than having a Bennett. Bennett C1 is perfectly fine. You don't need to That's get any constellations after that. But if Wait, you why the can... fuck don't you have a flower? <laughs> C3 and C5 are also very, very, very good. Because they're just adding more to what Bennett already is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, my Bennett's only C1. Um, his C2 and his C4... Could activate these, but... Eh, I like keeping it at C1. It proves the points about his power level. Yeah, like, the C2... I, it's kind of funny, because, like, C2 Bennett, like... If you're under 70% health... It's pretty it, rare for you to be under 70% health with Bennett is kind of the thing. Though, though I, though what I was going to say is, though, I suppose if you're under 70% health, that's when you want an ult. So I guess free energy regen on C2 yeah. is nice. Moment of burst. Uh, C6 Bennett, we definitely recommend really thinking about what you need in your comp. And if you're running like a Razor and you like running Bennett with your Razor, then definitely don't. Yeah. Well in your... Like C6 is a is does make Bennett more powerful both as a carry and as a support, but only for pyro teams. He loses his flexibility. But if you're okay with that, he is stronger at C6. He gives you a 50% pyro damage boost to anyone in this circle, and he gives you pyro conversion, which unlocks a lot of pyro comps that don't exist otherwise. Like there are pyro comps that you can unlock with that that are strong. And you can't do otherwise. You can run Kaching as a pyro charge attack carry in that kind of case. Like, there, there are comps that are unlocked by C6 Bennett, but you lose the ability to run non-pyro teams with him, basically. So, you know, you should have think about that. <laughs> as Tuner says, think about what you want out of it. I was gonna say you spent sixteen thousand primos. You rolled a hundred. Or... That's a hundred. Yeah. That's a hundred rolls. Yeah, it's a, yeah. It's a hundred rolls. And you only got one Bennett. Oof. I mean, it's, it's possible. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. But one Bennett still better than no Bennett. C one is a good power spike, but it's not mandatory. My first abli well, my first abyss twelve clear happened with a C zero with a C just zero think, Bennett. Just think about it this way. And just think about it this teams. way. You hit your five-star pity for Bennett. <laughs> Just think about it this way. You hit yeah. your five-star pity for Bennett. True. <laughs> True. Oh, there they are. Oh, I see feet. They go this way. But first we murder these people. That's a cute oh, foot finish you have. Hello, sirs. Murder! Feet away from me. Coming to be. Oh, they're all dead. Oh, he died to one Ning E. Whoops. <laughs> Ning 
does a lot of damage. It's all base damage, but it's a lot of damage. <laughs> you were able to get C6 Fisher without ruining your pity? Pog, nice Pog. Yeah, like the thing is, Sucrose... Every is a huge supporter of the Twitch channel, so that's really awesome to hear. Rats. Yeah, no, C6 is good. C6 is good. <laughs> is and Fischl, even C0, is still sword? really good. Beidou. Beidou really likes Sack Great Sword. Chong Yun can use it. I with... like it on Chong personally, but it's not yeah, mandatory. Chong Yun means, can but... use it if you're wanting to Don't move the circle. So the issue is with Chong Yun is that his E lasts for 10 seconds and then has a 1 second after. And then it's a, what's a 15 second or is it a 13 oh second? Oh no, Mastar Jades. But basically it lasts a super long time. I need to get used to that So the actual cooldown on it is like three seconds. So you're basically trying to sack a three second E, which is like the fastest E in the game technically. <laughs> well, next, um, to, next to Bennett in all E, but well, yeah. Well, I guess but, next to yeah. Bennett in all E. Effectively, but, yes. <laughs> um... It is nice, though, because it gives you the flexibility to reposition yeah. your ults, too. Yeah. And, and like, that's what I was yeah. saying. It, it gives you the flexibility to move out of that Ooh. circle if you need to. But you're only worth one raw meat? Wait. Oh, no. Do I go for the statue first, or do I go f for... Oh, no. What's that? What's that? <laughs> Forklift! What's this? What's this? There's something in the air. What's this? Uh, What's this? Forklift? There's white things everywhere. F forklift? What's this? What's this? I don't remember the rest of it. <laughs> ha! Crimson Agate! Ha ha! I have found the red monkey. No time to lose. Yeah, let's get the statue of the seven first, and then we'll proceed on. I should really have made an E first. It doesn't really... Sk it, the, it's not like it can snapshot the attack buff or something, so... Any, uh, any StarCraft players? Proceeding. I do see why people like carry Ning. Her combos are really fun, and it's really funny juggling stuff with her autos in the air. Like, you can hit things with your E to yeet them in the air, and then just basically perma-juggle them with your with your autos. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Absolutely. What the fuck is this? I'm so confused. What is this marker on my Indispensable, map? indiscriminate justice. I don't want to jump I'm the way about down, to drop a hammer. Map? Mark. Oh, well, whatever. I think it's small. Oh. Battle cruiser Hello? operational. Delighted oh. to, sir! <laughs> Do I need the little crimson thingy for that? Let me find one. There's one down here, right? Yeah, right here. Burst forth. Da, 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 da. Is this is this how I do it? Yeah! Yeet! You gotta have a crimson thingy. Neat. Cool little mechanics. Neat new area. I like it. Get me out of this chicken shit outfit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking, I was a Terran main from the day I died. I don't know. I just didn't really like Protoss. Or... Yeah, that's fair. I mean, that Protoss is units else. took too. Protoss units took too long to make, and fucking Zerg units. What made. the fuck are you? Oh. I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> Naru Hodo. What the fuck are you? Um, what? Oh god! What's it? Oh god! What's it doing? How do I? Can I? Can He's I a charge in his laser. Okay, I guess I just. God, their tracking is so bad. <laughs> that was neat. Ooh, it's down here. Ooh! Oh, oh. Ooh, hey, hey buddy. Ooh, be scared. 32, More. 32, 3, I feel like that's gonna be significant for a puzzle or something. Ha, ha. 
Why was it red? Oh god, what did it just do to me? Oh, it gave me a crimson agate. Cool. <laughs> Wait, I keep forgetting. I have a, I have a forklift. I should use... Uh, shit. My forklift. It's, it's inside the wall. Oh, forklift, please. Chat, who's your favorite hero forklift? in StarCraft? No, who's your forklift. favorite hero unit? Forklift? God damn it, does the forklift not work well on these fucking ledges? Yeah, forklift, clearly. why? Why have you abandoned me, forklift? I'm gonna die of cold down here. Forklift! Zero cool. Burst forth. Forklift! It can't generate Zero one cool. if it's got like anything on it. To be. Uh, Gale, oh my god, it can't the five euros. Hi, Jinx, love the content. Hope you were able to get the rest of the jungle. Just hey. like a dupe and the exclamation mark is talking to me. Yeah, yeah, it will. Lol. I knew I could have just climbed, but I was insistent on testing what kind of like d geometry I can forklift off of. Because apparently, if there's like any terrain intersecting the platform, it can't generate a platform. I'm a little disappointed. Not that many people said Jim Rayner. I didn't play StarCraft. <laughs> Hello, sir. Nice ice shield. Would be a pity if I was a pyro unit. Ah, I fucked up. Power. Yep, fucked up. Vulture Jim or Marine Jim? <laughs> that EM sharing is nice. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I mean, you got a point, because, like, Marine Jim is kind of a hard ass, but then Vulture Jim is just, like, a fucking biker guy. Don't waste my time. But I preferred Marine Jim. I don't know. For me, like, I don't know. There's nothing more iconic than the teal Marine. That's, like, I don't know. Ooh, ooh a fire sea leaf. Keep me warm. Keep me warm, country road. <laughs> Take me home. Take me to the place. I've been on. Dragon Spine Mountain is really fucking cold. But there's some cool shit. Country road. Almost heaven. West Virginia. Am I blind? Oh, there it is. I was like, where the Blue fuck is this Ridge thing? Mountain, I came all the way up here for it. I'll do more exploring later. I need to prioritize. God fucking damn it. I gotta find one of those crimson thingies. Life is older, oh. Older than oh, that's tempting. The but then I have to climb back up. I'll, I'll be back for you. Younger than the mountains. You need to find the crimson like thingy. Where is there a country road? Ooh. Take me home. Oh. Ooh. Seriously, where's our crimson thingy? Where is the nearest crimson thingy? You surprised nobody's mentioned Phoenix? Phoenix, um Phoenix was is my favorite Protoss unit. His story's really good. So Phoenix was a um coming to be Correct me if I'm wrong, I might be mixing up the stories, but Phoenix was a Corsair pilot who, like, died in a plane crash. And then they shoved his body into a, like, a quad quadrupedal death robot. Is there seriously not a crimson thingy up here? Damn no, he it. was a zealot? Wait, who, who's no? Oh, I'm I thinking of uh, Artanis. Oh, fuck! I'm gonna die. Who's who's the guy that was in? He was a Corsair pilot, and then he died. Yeah. Well, that was a pointless venture. <laughs> Artanis was a scout. Yeah, scout. Sorry, Artanis was a scout. Why did I say Corsair? Yeah, roll base value wise, this Ning Albedo is actually pretty nice. It's a lot of brain dead damage. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Artanis was a scout. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, god damn it, I got lost again. 
Any giveaways, sir? What was this? I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a giveaway on Twitch where uh, any of any of my followers can. Uh, we'll give away a PS4 or a PS5 to my followers, and then subs get like triple chance. <laughs> <laughs> that is a strat. Okay, where the fuck are these act? Where the fuck are these little crimson thingies? Where is the nearest crimson thingy? That thing, Gib. The thing about it, like you could like you can't do a sub only giveaway because then that's technically um a, it's a uh, sweepstakes and that's yeah. illegal unless you have a permit for it. But if you say, like, okay, so anybody who follows can get an entry, but, like, subs get five times the chance, it's clearly implied that subs are basically going to get a free win. Yeets. But you're still giving an opportunity to, uh, to followers. Legal loopholes. Yay! Yay. Yeah, your mother works on radio, so... A thing you would yeah. know. Yeah, I, I know Damn all it. about the legal loopholes for <laughs> for sweepstakes. I will say, out of all the double geo comps I've tried, and like my other account wasn't a well main account, as well as my Mona testing account, this is probably my favorite. I'm not sure if Albedo is going to be better than GOMC for this, but she probably is, because, like, honestly, neither Ning or Albedo need energy. Like, need the energy gen Geo MC provides. Yeah, yeet! Neat! Oh god, hey, it's all the up, fucking Tyrone? way up there. How you doing, man? Tyrone, what's up, dude? How you doing? Oh, this is an Animoculus statue. Okay. Okay. Uh, what's the thoughts on bootleg Edward, Edward Elric? He's a good unit. He's got some RNG stuff that is a bit annoying. More consistent. But yeah. Yeah. It's a bit annoying, but like it's not terrible. Um and his base damages are so far looking good. Uh I do need the calc to see how he really scales, because he does have split investment issues with defense and attack, scaling his E versus his ult. Um but his base output is looking pretty good. I'm just a bit concerned about how well he scales with investment because of a split because of his split resources. Or split uh Split stat issue. Yeah, it's kind of like the same reason why like split geo. damage carries can have problems because you because you can't invest in both like you know physical and pyro damage or whatever. Um, yeah. he's gonna have issues where you can't really realistically like stack up on defense and attack. So I'm concerned. In, uh, I'm concerned. The fuck was for him oh, yeah, as right. a support geo for Noel because his energy is so inconsistent that it's. If we had like a 10 second window where we only got one energy and that's beyond God. trash. There we go. In a trade war, the perfect Yeah, like it isn't it is possible. Like we have it only yeah, happened to us once, but we did have a point where we had a 10 second window where we only got one particle and that's not good. So um it's a little sus, but it's a little sus that it's RNG like that. I think it's I think the RNG is not a problem in double geo teams though is the thing. Except with Noel, so that's why I yeah, like this Ning Albedo so much because it's not really an issue with Ning and the team as well. Yeah. Um. But that being said, mm, RNG Noel got just energy needs. is just. Noel has needs. Noel has needs, and Albedo can't always fill them. Yeah. Noel has needs that these Geo men can't fulfill. <laughs> no one but Geo MC, and Ning after doing a little bit of reading. <laughs> On his sacrificial fragments. <laughs> she her needs can't be satisfied by men. <laughs> she needs women. I mean, MC can be male, but Shh. you're ruining my joke. <laughs> Alfredo. Alfredo? Why would he hang around a place like this? The word on the street is he loves sketching. He'll hang around anywhere. The views and scenery here are pretty good. Sketches everywhere you look. 
Jinx, if you if you could cuddle Rosaria, would you cuddle her on the butt or on the booba? Uh, probably the butt, but whichever wherever she would be, wherever she would be most comfortable. Wherever with she me wants doing me it. to cover. Wherever, wherever you want me to cuddle you, daddy, <laughs> or mommy, or nanny, or sister. Yeah, sister. That's the term. Sister. Sis. Okay. Uh, no. How about not? How about how about not? <laughs> Lol. Yeah, like that extra, you know, 1.8 to 2k burst. I'm stuck, on crit step, bro. Is the best. Where are all these lemon whores? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I'm dying. Who are you? Why did you alarm them? Thank the gods I'd already completed my sketch. Would have been a shame. Yeah, trick the trick question, the answer was yes. <laughs> What's up with sketching Charles? Yeah, damn. We can't. We, we, we this isn't Twitch. If if this was Twitch, they'd be using um. God, I can't remember the name. I can't remember the name of the emote, but it's basically like a redneck. God damn it. Uh, somebody help me. Does anybody remember what the the name of that emote? That's just like a fucking. Okay, yeah, Kona. Kona. It worries me that I have the uh. Sub-zero, like, at work. texturing on the borders right now, because I'm, yeah. like, really and close to start to the, the point where I'm going to be taking hey, damage. <laughs> okay, now, hold on. I need to double-check, because, wait, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 Goodbye, people who just... Vampire nun. <laughs> we have 15 people in the chat who know what Kona is. Are all 15 of those people following me on twitch.tv forward slash tuner? <laughs> I see. So sucrose. Then, if I'm not mistaken, I've heard a bit of <laughs> yes, everything. Sir. Okay. I'll skip to the conclusion. There's only one possibility after all. <laughs> you came from afar. Is there any reason to use Jing Cho over Mona? Jing Cho and Mona are completely different comps. Mona is yeah. set up around giant, big hit, one shot mall. Jing Cho. Fits, is just, Jingcho fits yeah. into a lot of different comps, and he is much better than Mona in a lot of comps. You have to build your team specifically around Mona ult for Mona to be good. She's yeah. not good unless you build your team specifically around Mona. Compared to Jingcho, I mean, relatively speaking. A any team where you could fit a Mona, if you put a Jingcho in there instead, it's better unless your comp is built around Mona's ult. But when you build a team around Mona's ult, she literally hits the highest numbers in the game. Single burst damage numbers in the game. She can double vapor ults. So even compared to a child ult, her ult has more motion value than the child's ult does in ranged form. And on top of that, uh, she gets the omen bonus for like 70 to 80, extra, depending on talent level, extra damage on it. And then because you, you can the... double vape, she is doing t she is vaping twice on her ult. So we're talking about like Mona can potentially hit a number up to three times or higher than Child can hit with a vape ult, and Child's ult is the other is the second highest single damage number in the game. If you've got a Diluca Bennett and a Venti, you could use either Jing Cho or Mona. You just need to plan completely differently. Jing Cho is just unga bunga. Hey, I press the Q and I'm just smashing and things with Diluc stat stick, or. If you use Mona, you have to be like, okay, well, I just used my Bennett. I got him already, you know, animoed with Venti. All right, now I got to do my Mona. Then we go and do the, the Diluc, and you have to use a specific combo. So. You have to, like, the thing about Mona comps is they are very specific in execution. If you do one ability out of order, you screw up your damage. Right. But when you achieve and, that, she get biggest number in the game. <laughs> yeah. And if you, um... <laughs> just make sure you don't use your E and your Q at the same time with Mona. <laughs> yeah. Like, for example, like, in the comp that Tuna was just describing, like, what you would do, let's say you have the Venti in there, for example, uh, mm -hmm. or you have any Anemo unit, you would, you know, first off, auto with Mona, switch over, pop Anemo on, pop Anemo on that target so that they get, so they get the Anemo debuff on Hydro. Then you go to Bennett, pop Bennett ult that applies Pyro on the target, switch to Mona, pop your ult, that... That gives you the first vape instance that it then carries wait, inside seconds. of it. And then, <laughs> then you have, wait, yeah, then you switch seconds. off of Mona. You have to wait two to three seconds and then pop the Luke ult. And the Luke ult will trigger the second vape and trigger the damage on Mona's ult. And you can have no other damage sources on the field for these two seconds you're waiting. And then that will double vape her ult, trigger her omen bonus, and trigger the ult damage on her ult that does four times damage. If you do any of these out of order, you're doing up to three times less damage. <laughs> 
Oh, up to, yeah. you're doing up to, you're you're doing up to wanna, about probably, five and a half times less damage on Mono You'd probably want to, like, Venti ult first, get them all condensed, and then they fall down, and then Mona attack. Yeah, like, really, the, probably the, then yeah. Swap back to Venti. Well, no, no. What you would do is you would Venti ult <laughs> and then pop a Mona E slash auto or charge in there to hydro infuse it so everything gets hydro infused or gets hydro veneered. And then once it's over, once it's over, you pop the Bennett ult to be able to. You pop. Well, actually, no. Then they might still be hydro. So you'd have the E and Bennett ult to apply pyro so you can do the first one. So you can do the first vape that you put into the Mona ult when you pop the Mona ult, and then you have to switch to the Luke and wait a bit and then pop his ult uh, in order to. Whereas Jing Cho is just her her her. I press I Q, press then e. e, then probably a second E, and then I just and then, have and then fun I Luke. switch off and the Luke unga bungas like that. And, that's, and then that, D, then D Luke just runs around going, I'm singing in the rain. Ah, uh, Sucrose I'm does sing. not work with Mona very well at all because Sucrose's ult completely ruins Mona's ability to double vape. Um, like, Sucrose... Like, the thing is, Sucrose's EM sharing is nice, and she is the Venera unit. The problem is, you have to throw your ult into a corner. Because if, Mo if uh, Sucrose's ult is going, Mona cannot double vape. You don't have to have a Deluke to make this work. Bennett, Bennett Mona makes this work. All you have to do is Bennett ult, Mona ult, and then Bennett E, and you get a double vape. With Bennett, yeah, with, the, the uh, with her snapshotting the attack on Mona's ult. It's just, if you want to also increase the damage further, you have to Venera it uh, with a Venera unit on Hydro. And the reason the Luke's nice is because the Luke's ult just does a lot more damage with the Omen bonus when it triggers the Omen on the targets with Mona no ult on it. But you don't have uh, to have the Luke for that. Yeah, the way the way that I do it, I usually use, like... What um, do you mean, double date? Versus doesn't do damage? It doesn't, but it carries the bonus. If you pop pyro before mona ult it keeps the bonus internally so it actually doubles it again what i do is i do um bennett shangling um mona and gene or i could use if i use sucrose i just don't use ult like that's, that's well the, the thing issue. is sucrose like, ult gives you ult. em but you have to throw it into a fucking corner is the problem <laughs> it does have to damage somebody though if i remember right no you just pop ult and it nice. shit EM shows. So gross talent. When a stable and a I'm, when E or ult hits an opponent increases all party members, excluding Sucrose's elemental mastery by an amount equal to twenty percent of Sucrose. Wait, it just needs her E. It, it doesn't require yeah. ult. I thought it required yeah. ult to use. Is, no, it's E or ult. Oh, so then yeah, you just press E. Never mind. Wait, what's her A2? But it has to hit somebody. Wait, what's her A2? Uh, A2 is when Sugros triggers a swirl reaction. All characters in the party with the matching element, excluding Sugros, have their elemental match. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, 50. no, never mind. Sucrose works, just don't ult. <laughs> just don't ult until after yeah. Mona does her shit. Yeah. Yeah, no, I sorry, I thought, I, I could have sworn that Sucrose had to like, ult to get her A4. Never mind, yeah, just don't ult until after Mona does her shit. Yeah, so just, uh, just E. Does level suppression exist? What? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Uh, forgive me. Hmm, you're right. For example, awakening life. <sighs> Breathing new life into fallen leaves. You can do that? However, I have a particular seed in my possession. Th it's like you, in that it hails from another world. Helping it to... Well, I really hope the story is out, just that Albedo brings to life one of the big stupid I monsters in this, and that's why you have to fight <laughs> That's like, that's why you have to fight the Ruin Grader, is because he painted it into existence. To find a way to get this... uh, but... Get it's 10.30 for me, idea. so... Alright. Have enough? Uh, I mean, at this point, we're like four hours in. I'll probably hop off too, because it's going to be hard for me to get much progress done on stream because I'm bad at playing and also chat existing at the same time. <laughs>
Yeah. Well, I don't want you to stay up too late because I would really like it if um, we could hang out on stream tomorrow yeah. when I do shit. I would like to go to sleep fairly soon, so it's probably better for me to hop off stream so I can actually get to the domain tonight and burn my condensed on it. Yeah. And burn my resin. Yeah. Because I do need to focus on getting the domain access. Alright, guys. General thoughts on Albedo. He's an inconsist. Oh fuck! I'm dying. One sec, Ashen. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Just teleport. No. And then I have to go back. Oh wow, this is a lot lower damage than I thought it'd be. This does this not hurt annoying. that badly. <laughs> this is annoying. Like yeah, the sound you. is annoying more than anything. Haha. -ha! Okay. Anyway, uh, general thoughts on Albedo. Just as closing things, as we're I'm we're hopping off stream now. Um, general thoughts on Albedo. He's not a carry, his basic combo sucks, so don't I don't recommend him for that. As a burst support, he has good base damages from what we've seen so far. His ults Let's go find some don't treasure. be don't be deceived by the fact that it says it blooms seven blossoms, because from our testing, you get maybe two to three max per target. So realistically on our beta, right? Uh let me pull him up. So it makes more sense to people who don't know all this stuff. So this initial hit hits a bunch of people in front of you. 101.8% each for each Fatal Blossom. It says you make seven. Don't be misled and think you're going to get all seven on one target. From what we've seen, for most unit, most enemies, you should expect two to three. Per, because it's a little RNG with how it places them and everything. And even in big groups, we, you're looking at like maybe two to three per target. We have gotten a four hit on a room guard once so far. Um, so four hits are possible, but not really expected. So you're looking at about... 700 and 700 and uh 15.6 to about 800 and whatever and 17 uh point uh point four per target that's still really good base on a 40 cost alt however his e because it's kind of inconsistent with energy generation you can't necessarily reliably solo fund your own alts with it, so you may need either ER on him or a decent energy gen team. In double Geo, though, he's not gonna have a problem with alting off cooldown. If you're running like him plus Ning or him plus Geo MC, he's not gonna have a problem. Tuna will be looking into how he performs as a battery for Noel, but because his E is inconsistent, at best he's going to be an inconsistent uh, battery support for Noel, so he's probably not gonna be better than Geo MC uh, for that. Yeah. But base damage wise, I'm, I'm, his base damage is pretty good. So far, he has a lot of AoE damage, which is valuable, very valuable. His E is 100% uptime. Like, it lasts 30 seconds, and you can replace it every 4 seconds. So, like, it's fucking 100% uptime. This is just, you're always doing this damage, uh, basically, as long as you're switching to him occasionally and popping, repopping if you have to leave the circle for whatever reason. Uh, the the platform-raising plunge attack shit is a meme, but it's funny at least. Um, the only, the... And, like, his A4 gives EM sharing, which makes him really nice as, like, a solo Petra support in a, in a reaction team. I'm not sold he's going to be better than Sucrose for that, because Veneer is better than Petra for one thing. And But Sucrose with investment can give more EM than this, but you need, like, I think 380 or something EM to beat his uh, EM sharing. But Veneer is a better, a better thing, and Sucrose groups units, which is really useful. My main concern with him right now is I don't know, without Constellations, how well he's going to hard scale compared to other burst supports. Because, like, I know that his C2 gives him defense scaling on his ult, making defense a good stat for him. But the problem is, his ult scales off of attack and his E scales off of defense. You can't invest, you can't invest in both, and if you do, it's lower than another unit would be just investing in attack, right? So, I'm a bit concerned... Since we don't have a defense like longsword for him to use, I'm a bit concerned how well he'll scale into he'll scale at like you know plus twenty investments, R five weapons, uh, level 70, 80, 90. Once you once you start like really wanting to heavily invest, uh, past like just plus sixteen base sets, I'm not certain how well he will scale because of the fact that he has this separate scaling issue. But I will be looking into the math behind that tomorrow, uh, to really get a good idea. Like, it's, like, he's pretty, he's fun. His base damages feel good right now, but I have to calculate it, to be sure. But his base damages feel good. Like, 700 to 800% in mass AoE every 40 seconds isn't bad. 
That's that's pretty damn good for base damage. Um, and then this is 187% of defense for like reference. You know, I have I have some defense substats, so I'm at 837. Uh, at 837, we're talking like we're talking about 1,000 plus, and then crits or uh, crit whatever crits mm -hmm. do. So we're talking 1,000 every two seconds, 100% uptime. Uh, that's not bad. And also, his E has such a weak geo on it; it doesn't mess up reactions that much. Like even if you have if you like hit something with a Bennett E and pyro it, and then this damage triggers, it doesn't burn the pyro, so you can still use that pyro to vaporize. So it does. So he's good for reaction teams because of his A4. And his E is just, it, it's basically just a turret. It's, it's just a turret. It's like Fischl Bird, but it's 100% uptime and lower damage than Fischl Bird. Uh, and can't do reactions, but it's 100% uptime. Uh, so he's gonna, he's looking like a good burst support. I, again, I have concerns about his, about his scaling with more investment because of his split damp, his split type on defense and attack scaling on his E and his Q, unfortunately. So I'm... So, like, I, I'm not going to wholeheartedly recommend him yet, but he's looking good so far as, like, a as a base damage burst support unit for, e, for like, reaction teams. And as for double geo, I'm really liking Ning and Albedo together, but I don't know if... Other than Ning, Albedo, Geo, MC, Albedo can work, but I feel like Ning, Albedo, or Ning, uh, Geo, MC is probably better. Uh, but I have again. I have to look into those numbers more. I have to calculate more stuff for him first to say that for certain. But he, I, I'm not. Sh I don't think he's gonna be great with Noel just because his E is kind of inconsistent with energy generation. So that means if you get unlucky, your Noel is just missing an ult for ten seconds. Yeah. Does Ning benefit or just Albedo? Yeah, Ning benefits. Uh, Ning benefits from having Albedo on team because he's. Uh, providing this extra geo base damage, he's providing this extra geo damage, uh, passively, so he doesn't have to steal screen time from Ning to continue to add value, versus Geo MC, who you do have to quick swap and pop E's and stuff like that. Uh, he can just pop an E down and then Ning just stands inside of it, beating shit inside of it, uh, which is nice. Um, you Smart don't have to- piece Petra good on Obedo. The problem with Petra has always been that you have to- pick up the shield on yeah. the character with Petra. It's a bit it's a bit weird on him, right? Cuz like let's say there's an enemy right here like Coming to be. You can do geo damage with this and crystallize, pick it up and boom, you have Petra. Not too bad. But the problem is is that if you if you if you're making crystallize shields passively on field with him off field, you can't get Petra bonus. You have to switch back to him and then pick up the shield and then go back to your whoever you're using, right? So it, it's not much better than it is on anyone else like Ning or Geo MC. In fact, I'd argue Ning is better because Ning just does this and you switch. Like Ning's nice because her autos crystallize. So like if I set something on fire, right? I just switch to Ning, do this, dash into it, and then switch back. Like Ning's nice for that reason. Uh, versus Albedo who has to do a tap E, which might means you have to move where your circle is, and then you have to dash into it and switch to and then switch back. And then you also have the chance of accidentally raising yourself into the air, <laughs> which I've done a few times on accident before. I whiffed an entire C6 Ning, like, 7-star Jade Volley into the fucking horizon because I stepped on this on accident. <laughs> but so far, he's... I... The thing that Albedo has going for him is his base damage, right? That's what he, that's what he's there for. He he his he well he has he's like Ning. What Ning has going for her, she doesn't buff her teammates unless they're geotype. She doesn't provide utility, but she does a fuckload of base damage, and that's kind of what he, he has going for him. So that's why I have to do more calculations to see how good that base damage actually is, because that's what Albedo has doing for him. He 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 make a lot of big numbers happen, or he make a lot of small numbers happen often, basically. So. <laughs> From my testing, you don't need to have Albedo on field to activate Petra. That's not correct. That, that can't possibly be correct unless they changed how Petra works. I'll, I'll, I will do some more testing on it, but that can't be how Petra works because Petra is Petra requires the unit with the Petra set to pick up a crystallized shield. They don't even have to make it, but they have to pick it up. Unless they've changed how Petra works in this patch, so I will test that now that you mentioned that. Uh, I will check to see if that is a changed interaction. Uh, but unless they changed how Petra works this patch, it should not be able to work that way. Albedo Zhongli. 
why Ning's better than Zhongli <laughs> and GOMC's better than Zhongli. I mean, I guess if you value Zhongli's shield, because I don't, it's just not strong enough, but if you value Zhongli's shield, then sure, but like Ning Albedo is going to do a lot more damage. GOMC, GOMC and Albedo is going to do more damage and provide crit rate. Is Albedo better than Ning? He's AoE. She's single target. So they're not really filling the same role necessarily in that case. Ning... Th th realistically, I don't think there's any way he's beating Ning's single target damage. Ning's kind of the queen of single target based damage. But, like, that's fine. He's AoE and she's not. Like, she's she's very, she has a lot of single target in her kit. And everything he does is AoE. Yeah. Alright, Jinx. Yep, that's it. All right. Otherwise, we'll just be here answering questions. True, true, true. But yeah, <laughs> that that's my final thoughts on Albedo. Um, I'm hopeful for him, but because he, because he doesn't provide utility outside of you know this 125 EM, which is good, but Sucrose is better late game. Um, because he like because that's all he provides utility wise. His power really comes down to just how much damage does he deal. So we're gonna calculate it. So guys, if you want to catch some more questions or try to get more stuff answered tomorrow, uh, I will be streaming on Twitch. Jinx will be joining me. Yep. Remember that supporting the Twitch channel is the same thing as supporting the YouTube. You, uh, We do split revenues, so if you got an extra Prime thrown around, uh, you can throw it over there and it helps us out. Um, but I will be testing the Noel stuff. I'll be yeah. testing him in like a Kaya-based comp. We'll yeah. just be having some fun with it. Like I think, so. I think on average he'll probably be an okay battery for Noel. It's just the RNG is the problem, you know. Yeah. Like one part, like even if it is around the one particle every three seconds that we're kind of getting as the baseline for the RNG from our maybe n equals fifty sixty testing so far, yeah. that's not bad for Noel. But like it's just the RNG Bro. is uh, feels bad. Yeah, the issue is somebody was like, oh, well, if you use it with Favonius GS, well, the problem is, is you're dropping so much damage for Favonius GS that, like, if you're just having an, like, a, a, a worse yeah. battery, then why don't you just use GOMC? Yeah, just use Ningguang. GOMC, whose damage isn't probably too far behind his, honestly, and generates better energy and gives you crit rate and be able to run a real sword. <laughs> right. But, yep, yeah, let's yep. go ahead and end it, man, man. Yep, so... It's been fun, guys. I'm going to do a little bit more farming off stream so I can do the domain stuff and everything since uh, we both basically spent the entire goddamn, uh, the entire stream testing stuff. So it's been fun, guys. We'll see you on Tuner's Twitch at twitch.tv slash Tuner tomorrow. I, will just, I won't be like streaming. I'll just be in voice chat with him while he streams and working on spreadsheets and shit like that. Um, yeah. But anyway, yep. Thanks, guys. Uh, TLDR, Albedo, rewind like 10 minutes. We just gave one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Happy waifu hunting, whalers. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.